Hello, welcome. Oh no, hang on. I'll do, I'll do it for proper YouTube, right? Should we do it properly YouTube, right? Um, you have to do the hand, don't you? Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube. Don't forget to give it a subscribe and click the like button and hit the bell button um, and write a comment below to tell me what you think. It really helps the channel. Um, today, we're listening to your demos. Smash that comment button. Absolutely subscribe right now. Um, okay, yeah. So we're live on Twitch for those of you that are watching this back on uh, YouTube. Um, today is Thursday, April the 20th. And uh, what we're doing is listening to everybody's lovely demos that they have submitted. Um and the way we do that to make life easier for me going through things democratically is um, if you're in the Twitch chat now, if you type in exclamation mark demos, um, you get the info. Basically, we limit it to two tracks maximum per person. Doesn't mean you have to submit two. You can submit one. In fact, that's kind of better. Um, SoundCloud links only so that I can easily... Um, audition it and skip through and I don't have to download millions of things onto my hard drive and mix up what's what um, and then you submit these links on my discord channel in the uh, oh, sorry my discord server in the demos channel uh, which is what I'm looking at here and I'm just trying to work out where we finished off last week um, we did one of these last Thursday I think and I went for almost six hours um, normally I leave myself a note saying the last one I did was okay I remember that because Conclave tried to get me to listen to a Beatles song um, and uh, I was like what so here we go these are looking familiar I wrote a message saying I can hear the dog barking again we're going to get dog barking on the mic soon aren't we it's like the dog barking in Tarkov. Last one today was subclassed in subclass incandescent. Okay, so let's find where that was. Um, subclass incandescent. Oh gosh, we got a lot here. What? Can we see it? Subclass incandescent. Entropy subclass incandescent. Okay, great, cool. I know where we are. Um, Thistle says also suggestion for future demo streams. Chat overlay on the stream for the YouTube. Yes, um, I uh, mentioned that earlier on today. Where would we put it on this screen? Maybe just sort of over on the. We could put it over here. Um, I don't want to fuck around doing it now um, while OBS is streaming. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do that because it means um, people that are watching back on, on YouTube, they'll be able to see what the chat was saying. Um, Gav is helping me out. Yeah, so the one with the candle here is the last one that we listened to last time. So... Um, oh, hello, Entropy. Loved your tunes uh, last week. So... Um, Interested to see if we've got any more from you. Um, so, right, here we go. Let's see how many we've got so that I know what I'm in for. I'm going to, oh, fuck, we're going to be here till tomorrow. So, Siren, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Thirty-four. All right. I'm not sure how many we got through last time. Um, so let's let's get to it. Uh, have to get the. Oi! Oi, 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 oi. All right.
quite loud, this. Sounds good. Fair trap. So this is Anger by Hurtbrooken. I don't think this is drum and bass. Hello, Sarange69. Thanks for the follow. Bradley Drop, thanks for the follow as well. Liking this so far, like if it's dubstep, it's not uh, my vibe, but... Thank you, Robin G89. Thanks for the lovely comment. One, two, three, go! It sounded very saturated. <laughs> oh, nice edit there. That's cool. Please don't go too with me on me now. We don't give a f my kind of music, but this is a very good example of this kind of dubstep, right? <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't know. I can't give feedback on that because it's not my... Um, uh, what's it called? Rel sphere of influence? No, uh, I don't know. It's not not my. I'm not a, a dubstep expert. Basically, uh, I don't like that kind of music. But um, I not. <laughs> I don't think this person cares what I think anyway. But that's like the production sounded wicked to me for 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 that sort of. Um, I don't know, you call it rhythm or whatever, like noisy American style dubstep. That's a very good, competent example of it um, that I'm sure would happily get released and bought and played all over the place. Some good production tricks in there. There's some nice little edits and stuff. Um, but I don't really, I wouldn't know how to advise anything about, you know, intros and shit. It seemed like from the demos I get sent of um, noisy dubstep or whatever. I don't know what you're supposed to call it, respectfully. Um, uh sounded just like stuff that gets released so yeah big up cool um wings dnb says prime awareness of streamer expertise yeah exactly yeah i don't know who sent me that but they would should know that i say only drum and bass and um knowing me yeah it's sort of but um that's cool if you're trying to get your demos out there you'll try absolutely everywhere and anything so fair enough but i would have thought that's worthy of release any uh, i mean i mean I'm I'm not a dubstep uh, knowledgeable person, right? But so if it's drum and bass, and if somebody said, "Oh, that sounds just like uh, Calibre," you know, I'd be like, "Well, actually, no, it's more like this or that or whatever." So I'm not sure I can differentiate as well between all the different sub sub genres of of dubstepy stuff. But like that sounded perfectly competent and worthy of release to me. Sounded just like stuff that I get sent from labels. So um, I hope that's uh, helpful um right anyway on to something here from brady xk show me what you got what do we think i think we're getting a bit of a jump up bubbler here from this intro is that the uh those shakers are sort of giving me early crust vibes What's up, Jonah Ray? Hello, Ri 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 loves ya. Hello, Tided. Yep, sounding good, this one. This is Brady XK and Ransom. Which way? Nice, yep, breaky. Intro wasn't too long, it's kind of like the right length for me. Where am I? Nice vocal sample. Good bit of development there, bass develops very intelligently. Interesting sort of wood blocky 
percussions in there. Really good edits and stuff. Nice effects just come in there for the first time. Everything's like very well put together. Production's really uh, spot on. Definitely gets a certified bag of this one, yeah. sounds sounds great like uh not really any major suggestions i'd i'd make in terms of you should do this to improve it a kind of um the uh i think thistle mentioned something about the the kick uh i mean yeah the kick and the snare could be ow i've got an ant biting me or something oh ow the fuck is that ow 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 um it's the ants have come in through the gap when the computers ah um yeah, like, uh, pff, arrangement was really nice. I love the way uh, all the ideas were slowly drip-fed in so that it continued to be interesting as it went through. Even though it's a simple instrumental track, um, bass sounds, the, the overall mix of everything sounded perfectly fine to me. Um, not a massive, massive fan of the snare, but as we always say, like, it's so so impossible to, like, get a, the perfect snare. Um that's about the only thing i'd maybe have a little look at the snare try and maybe try a different one or tweak it add a little bit more of a transienty bit to it or or something but if you didn't it's totally fine um that's worthy of release i think there were a lot of people here in the chat who said they'd play it uh, it was nice it was nice they had a breaksy feel about it but it was it was program drums not a breakbeat um but yeah that's a certified banger from us very very nice good job there Brady and Ransom. <laughs> Need to um, put my flames. There we go. Uh, and we've got another one from Brady XK. This one's called 180. So, the ants are dancing. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. I, I have mentioned this on stream uh, before. It's annoying I can't show you with like my mobile camera. That's something else to fix. Can I just add, can I just do me a to-do list here of things that um, have occurred to me today and I could actually do them immediately after. What day is it today? Thursday. I've done the TED Talk stinger, so let's um, tick that off my list. Right, we've got to do sort out mobile camera scene okay done that and the other one was put chat in view on demos scenes oh you can't see this is on my second screen but i'm giving myself more jobs to add to my epic epic trello i'll just i know i can't show it now because it's going to go on youtube and somebody somewhere will slow it down and get a, a deep insight into my mind and look at my to-do list but i'll show you some other time <laughs> other time i have to take it off the screen it's going to make me go mad um yeah so uh, down here like i think you can see behind me right this is where my computers are and i've got three tower computers it gets very warm i've got like my mac pro that i do my music and video editing on ah there's something definitely in my fucking ah motherfucker. 
sorry, there's something in my shoe and I feel like it's biting me. It's probably just like a tiny bit of grass or something. You know what, let's just take our shoes off today. Ah, fuck's sake, man. <laughs> I can't see any ants. <laughs> At some point in the chat, I'll be like, John, look behind, behind you, behind you. And I'll be this giant ant appearing behind me like it came from the desert going. Um, but um, <laughs> down with the shoes. I shouldn't be wearing them inside anyway. Like normal people don't wear shoes inside. But um, yes, yeah, so I've got three tower computers down in the corner and it gets very warm there because they're all on. Uh, well, there's the stream PC and the one that I'm looking at now. Um, and then I've got my gaming PC, but I keep that off most of the time, um, cause I don't have time for any gaming, but it gets warm as fuck. And they, so they blow the air out the back, but it doesn't really like circulate that much, which is why I have like a, just a desk fan sat there trying to blow air around the side to sort of get it to come out a bit more. And it warms up the wall behind them because it's just permanently getting heated by, you know, graphics cards and stuff. And, um... Uh, there was, we have like the, the damp proof course thing outside our house and the patio thingy there. And, um, that, you know how like ants sort of, when you've got lots of pebbles and things, they can make their big nesting there. There was basically a really big one built right up against the wall outside our house, uh, last summer or the year before. And they'd found a tiny little way. I think they'd possibly burrowed through the uh, a hole in the mortar in between all my bricks. And ah, it's still getting me now. What the fuck is that? If it was an ant, I'd know about it because that really sing. Um, <laughs> and they basically invaded, and I started seeing a few ants in the studio. I'm like, that's weird. And I think I caught it just at the right time. And I moved the, the, all the computers forwards. And um, there was just all these ants all sort of bumbling around behind my computers because they just come in because it was lovely and warm. And I was like, oh, my God. Because I remember reading about these ants that actually eat your computers. Like, they eat the silicon or something. I was like, no, not, the, not that they've come from a 3080. Uh. Um, anyway, uh, thank you for listening to my TED Talk on ants. <laughs> Uh, right. Okay. Brady, 180. Demo from the crew. Show me what you got. Hold your fire, ants, because it's a bite. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god, you wouldn't believe it. I was attacked by ants live on stream. base ants. Hold tight the invertebrates. Big up the six legs. Hey. This is nice. I know that break. I've, I've used that snare a few times in my life. Oh, this is good. This is good. Hello, Sean. Hello, Tidid. Hello, skinny wrist bumbo. Gumbo. Sweet chat. Thanks for the follow. This is really good, very strong start. This is a ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's a lovely bass. That's quality, that is. Again, really nicely done development. This is a banger, this one. I 
I haven't seen him. I think I recognise that sample. Ah, uh, he's West Coast, is he okay? Well, if you're watching this back in the future, Brady, big up. Love this, it's wicked. More of a sort of remote control break here. I kind of preferred the drums and the bass interact the way they interact with every each other in this section. I think it goes a bit. Oh, I'm fucking my god! Everyone, this is not where people want to see your foot. You know where they like people are like show feet, show feet. My feet are perfectly fine. I'm not going to show you my feet, but I don't know what's biting me. Because I was, I, I mowed the lawn today and I had those shoes on. I can't see anything crawling on me. I might go and put some different so socks on. Hang on a minute, it's invisible ants, they're all over me. Arrgh! And I'll start like scratching my face off. Give me a second, I'm going to go put some other socks on just so I don't um, keep getting distracted here. I'll, I'll show you my foot on the way out. <laughs> show foot, show foot. Right, back in. Asta Locke has done a, said I need to do a stretch with the channel points. I think that counts as a stretch, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> tune so bad, John B had to take his socks off. Come on. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I looked, the, I think there was a tiny little spiky thing or something in the back of my jeans. The problem is I can still feel it now. Like maybe, maybe I got stung by something and it's left a sting in me. I don't know. It's not. It's just sort of a bit weird. Knock my socks off. Um, maybe I got a bed bug off this tube, the underground or something. Is they weird? Um, <laughs> booze not booze is looking at the karaoke clip differently after the earlier talk. Yeah, the different. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I. I think you know I, I'm aware I can't sing to save my life. Stung by a bee. John B got stung by a bee live on stream. Oh my god! Wow. Um, so, sounds great. I love the bass and the drums and the stuff. The arrangement was fine. Um, not sure the drums need to switch up to be as more busy in this second bit, but...
not really uh, much I can say to add to that. Like, um, mix down's all right. Bass is bassy enough. Drums sound good. Um, not entirely sure I would personally play it. Uh, but it's really good, really good quality. Um, nothing jumps out as, at me as, like, definitely needing changing or anything. Like, quite often I can offer some kind of feedback where I think I, I'd i be certain that change, making some changes would completely improve it. Uh, but I can't really put my finger on anything for that one. Sounds perfectly nice, everyone likes it. Good tune, worthy of release, I'd say. Um... Thistle says, I feel some of the breaks need tonal balancing resonance control. Maybe, but like the average person isn't going to notice that kind of thing. And on breaks, he kind of tracks like, you know, the the drums are all balanced there. Um, <laughs> more interesting reverb on those vocals in the breakdown aren't really any rises or anything but yeah good work there Brady XK 1AE nice one thank you very much for that Brady good job next one here is by Sarang Hey catastrophe flawed uh, okay someone's gonna read the brief that's not drum and bass sounds a bit like um ai vocals as well but not drum and bass not my kind of music um not what we asked for so sorry not for that one uh space raptor Hey John, here's a deep minimal track that's part of my first drum and bass EP that I've been working on for a while now. Interested to see what you think of it. Uh, this is by Space Raptor. Weapons, not uh, not mastered, really quiet. Okay, cool, that's all right, we can turn it up. Um... Let's get that here. We can turn it up a bit on the old... Uh... remind me to turn it down also uh worth noting uh i am listening on my headphones and i have sound id reference running which is applying this frequency curve to correct um the frequency response of my headphones so that i hear a perfectly flat really nice thing uh it means that you hear slightly boosted bass slightly boosted mids and uh reduced tops your end uh, and it's difficult for me to kind of make it so that i hear something in my headphones and you hear a different one so um if you're judging the the overall eq mix down bear that in mind um so anyway so this is this is a bit quiet like the intro shouldn't if i'm looking at the wave here The intro shouldn't be that much quieter than everything else here like just whacking a bit of a limiter and stuff on the end would fix that out and there's you know you should do that if you were working on a Fink single pc streaming setup you could do that yeah but i'm on a, a double so oh this is nice nice and simple bass is bass sounds a bit wide i'd make the bass more mono-y or at least the low end part of it separate the, the higher portion with the low portion make sure the the low end bass is actually as mono as you can get it give the snare a tiny bit more tops Sounds like we're missing a little bit on the, the high end EQ. That um, dub siren sound a little bit too loud, but nice. Good stereo panning.
nice just sort of deep chill tune here not hugely into that synth but you do need something there doing something like that I think the only person that pulls that off really well is like TV with his that style of synth lead on a track like this not a fan of going half time but I mean this is a chill track so you can get away with it um, yeah a bit of rides would help I think Evan Kiljoy saying thrash this through a very Mew style compressor to give it vibe and movement would be ace yeah that's a good suggestion Evan I, I've never been into like half timey stuff and I don't know like having gone from drum and bass to then go half time normally people do it the other way around so if you do want to have a half time section maybe do that at the first but that's just a matter of taste and the, the space this would sit in on the EP also like depends and you know what your goal is for everything mix down sounds all right um the hats are a bit low in the mix could do a bit more sparkle same with the snare um nice overall vibe though i like this it's good work space raptor does sound very spacey i like how it just sort of stays on on one chord um uh, booze not booze is that you are you space raptor booze not boobs booze <laughs> I almost said boobs not boobs then um i would consider doing the half time before the double time but if it was me i just wouldn't do the double time i wouldn't do the half time bit if it if i was making it um maybe add a few more little bits and bobs of occasional percussion in there you could maybe fit some shakers in maybe a night a very nice uh ride coming in like a few more things to develop the drums a little bit as time goes by um ah okay okay roger that booze not booze um matt mad mcmahon are you mad mc man or mad mcmahon uh says air windows air 2 is a great to add sparkle to hats okay that's i've never used that myself but that sounds like something worth checking uh pred in the chat says make a half time section and add that between the half time and the half time section so you can you can half your half time while you half time your half time you could do that <laughs> I, I would uh, not recommend it but you know uh each of their own kai dnb melb says definitely got a vibe um robin says it could be sounding more spacey uh, Mad McMahon says Mac as in Mackie D's. Okay, so it's Mad McMahon. All right, cool. All right, so yeah, big up Space Raptor. Thanks for sending us that, that one in. Uh, sounded very competent. Nice vibe. Liked it a lot. Thank you, thank you. Uh, this one's by MNFA, Camp Rock Remix. I've always been the kind of girl that kinda... Hold on, this is Camp Rock. So this is something very copyrighty, which I kind of shouldn't be playing so oh, that's cool. i'm just skipping through that because it's if it's off camp rock that's a flipping like disney thing or something so um I can't really be playing that on Twitch, but sounds like you did a good job of a bootleg uh, remix there, MFNA. Um, good work. I don't know. I'm not going to listen to it on stream because it's. Uh, I need to make a bit more of a clear message somewhere about what's cool and what isn't. But um, yeah, I don't want Mickey Mouse coming for me. Um, but it sounded perfectly competent, like what you did with the vocals and changing the pitch and things there. Um, so good luck with that. Uh, Legacy FM did not upload to SoundCloud, so we will give this a very quick listen. And it's not drum and bass, um, so sorry, mate, 
Final warning. Uh, ah, we got Pred here with a song called Seeker. So we got Pred here in the chat. This is first of two tracks they submitted. Big up the Pred. I'm not sure that big, um, oh, I have to turn it down to compensate for uh, the previous one being a bit too quiet. Initial, res that, that noisy sound at the beginning, I'm not sure that's a good choice of sound to use, really, unless it makes sense when everything else is going. That sort of, uh, I think there's like a sinky sound with like, I, I, I don't know, that's not sounding right to me, but... Also, also the kick has got like a symbol on the top of it, which sometimes can work stylistically, but that sounds a bit funny. Like either you're playing the kick at the same time as a sort of symbol that's getting cut off or you've played them together deliberately, but because it's not followed up by other similar symbols, it sounds a bit off to me. Snare sounds good though, it's all right. Nice little edit there with the whoo, that was good. Nice, I like that, there's an Atmos thing that goes doo -doo 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 -doo. that's cool. It, the bass is a bit strange here because you've got this single note that's the low sub thing and then you've got a sort of very distorted mid type synthy tune thing. Um, on top, um, if we go back, it's also, uh, I, I kind of, when it drops, it's sort of, uh, you're not really sure if, when the, the way the bass comes in, I wasn't sure if that was the lead up to the drop or like, if that's what you're getting, I, um, I thought it was one of those ones where it's like, you know, um, but it just seemed like sort of the overall bass note tune is a bit, a bit aimless or no, it's not aimless, but I, I, I'm, that's the most descriptive word I can think of, of when the, the notes, the bass is playing doesn't seem to like have much of an intention about where you're going with it. Um, It's good to hear there's the side chaining going on on the sub with the kick that's working nice so you made the effort there nice to hear the the break in there on top i think that the the main thing i don't like i mean i don't not like it but the thing that i feel like is letting this down mainly is the tune that the bass is playing um but that's coming from the perspective of someone who wants to play music in a club to drum and bass fans in that kind of environment it sounds a bit like video gamey and all of that um so if you framed it in that way if it was designed for a video gaming environment and world and things like that it would make a bit more sense but for what I do and sort of where we're aiming with this, if you were aiming more at like traditional drum and bass for clubs and drum and bass listeners and all that, I'd um, uh, I'd change the notes you were playing. Oh, and so Pred says you actually do work on games. Well, in that case, it makes a lot more sense. And then it, it has the sound of something for games. So then, well, it's, it's, it's a bit weird because that huge, the context, 
makes such a difference, right? So if you listen to this, this is drummer based for video games. You're like, okay. The rules are kind of different, aren't they? I like the do 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 do. I feel like that could be louder. Make more of that. There, there's very little going on in above basic. The, it's basically a drum beat, and the 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 lead is the sort of Reese synth line thing, which are all quite in the low registers. And the the arpeggio sound you've got is quite nice. Um, so I think you could you could make that a bit louder. Yeah, good work there, um, Predasus. Uh, yeah, so like my main main thoughts are maybe turn up the arpeggio thing. It sounds nice, it's sort of organic y, synth -y sound you got there. I'm not a huge fan of the tune that the bass is playing, but if it's in the um, context of being more in a sort of, you know, futuristic video gaming y world rather than dance floor drum and bass, then it's cool. Um, drums drums you know overall mix down's all right isn't it um drums are a bit busy but you know it could all benefit from cleaning up and tidying up and tighter eq and stuff like that but um from someone that's coming back to producing drum and bass from doing a lot of hip hop and everything like that that's uh, good work there so big up the pred we got another one um from predecessors uh, called alicia let's see this Like it so far? I prefer the intro on this one. It sounds more intro-y. I wasn't a fan of that, uh, the sort of raspy sound you had in the beginning of the other one. This is sounding cool so far. It, you know, you're like, ooh, what's coming next? Sorry for the yawns, it means I like it. <laughs> that burn, 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 not. Oh, I did not expect that. Kick is sounding a bit too big, a bit too wide to me. Snare is suffering from not tight enough triggering, like, um,. It's like there's two, either a sloppy edit point of the transient of the snare where you've got two of them that are triggering side by side. The kick is like very bassy, which in it kind of shows you, shows that there's very little bass in the bass there because the bass has got, a, the kick drum has got a very low part to it, but that there isn't anything that matches it. So that's something to look at. Um, synths are a bit preset-y there. Good you got the old side chaining going though off the kick. That's another thing that makes the kick stand out so much though because there's like very, very strong side chaining going on. I'll definitely tame the kick a bit. I like what you did on the bass there with some pitch bending up. That's really cool, really nice effect. And the development here is cool. I th I think the main things that are letting you down here is the s the snare sounds kind of late because the triggering on the sample is not you know you're probably triggering it pressing the key but the sample peaks like further up or something like that so it's sounding late and that's getting sort of exaggerated by other sample triggering things being a bit mixed up so I'd fix that. This one again like there isn't much going on in the top end it's sort of you can turn up your synths sort of in the higher end of things because there's some nice sounds going on there that and the vocal thing
this this one's easier to think of ways that we could have a marked improvement in the overall sound i would say tame the kick sort out more low end on your actual bass sort out the snare i think the sound itself fits the vibe of the tune it's more the kind of triggering and the transient and getting it to actually sound like a snare that hits at the right time rather than a bit mushy um and then overall eq like push up the volume of your uh higher end arpeggios and synths and the vocals and stuff so they're just a bit louder so you hear them a bit better maybe tone down this epic side chaining you've got that happens when the kick comes in whatever side chaining off that it also makes the kick sound a bit too big um and like i think if you do those it would it would sound a lot better um i really like the uh the edits you did on the sort of arpeggio -y bass thing where you sort of pitch bended it up a bit towards the end of that 16 bar section and stuff that's a really cool i've never done that in anything and i keep meaning to incorporate pitch bending of stuff at the end of of section sometimes pitch i've noticed subfocus does it a lot on his snares um in build-ups from the end of a from the end of a breakdown coming up to where it drops he'll actually like pitch bend his snare down and just like fade it out away uh, and i keep meaning to give that a bash um but also on on um like tonal elements like wouldn't normally do it on a bass but it sounds really nice there and i like the sort of synth wavy drum and bassy vibe of it you could also add in a bit more of a like fast paced but i think it feels to me like the drums are mainly just the kick and the snare so you lose a bit of the like pace and the movement you'd get from tops i mean i know you get that you get that from the the bass because it's very very fast but i think if you added in a um some 909 rides but with very little low end on them all filtered off or some sort of shaker e or 808 hats and stuff side chain nicely so there's a bit of movement i think that would add to it and you because you got stuck that that's cool that gives it movement and with the speech you've got all the elements that you you need to i think just with a bit of careful realigning of the sounds and the volumes and everything you could really make some progress on that and it would it would sound really cool and really exciting so it's good good job on that one i there's a lot of uh, potential in that I, I reckon um so yeah big up give you a, a a horn and an applause make some noise for the predecessors oh yeah so we're in the demos it's a demo stream today demos One. Definitely, definitely a fan of that second one there, Predacus, the one that's called Alicia. If you do work on that some more, I'd love to hear um, what you do, because uh, I don't think you need to change any of the sounds. Um, everything was there that you've got to make it complete. I think it's just a matter of like tweaking the sounds you have there with a bit of EQ and get the balance a bit better. Um, the vocal sample's perfect. Like it's, it's, it, you know, there's there's lots of little bits and bobs in there that remind me of various other artists and things that I like. So I think like the everything, like the, <laughs> it's like cooking. All the all the ingredients are there. You just need to like change your recipe a little bit. Um, arrangement sounded cool and all that. It's just sort of um, a bit on the sound balance maybe um you know various volumes of various bits and bobs get things sitting better i saw um evan asked what you were monitoring on um like what speakers or headphones and stuff like that you use um because both of the tracks suffered from the same sort of issue of kind of a bit dull on the top end um and a bit bass heavy so if you're working on headphones, maybe have a look at the sound ID reference software thingy that I use or um, or just just be aware of that. Because um, I, I did sometimes I can really notice if there's more than one tune, you can tell if there's like an overlying um, difference in like frequency balance of, of what's coming out of somebody's studio. So that might be something to look at as well. But um, as long as you're aware of how whatever's coming out of your speakers translates to how it sounds everywhere else and you can correct for that it's it's fine right 
Evan's got to shoot off and work. All right, mate. Thanks for stopping by briefly. Good to see you. Um, thank you once again, Pred, for giving us the tune to listen to. Uh, we've got Astolok lurking, um, who is saying the lead in the intro of Recombine is so glorious. Um, all right, so we've got Muz G Farzar here with a song called ECT. Let's see what we got here. Oh, track was not found. What about now? Oh, that's a shame. What was the name of the song? ECT 1.1. Ah, uh, he may have um, changed his mind and deleted that. So, uh, okay. Um, we have CCCC here. Um, it says, hello there. I'm aware the song I'm about to present to you may not be your cup of tea, but I'm looking for some feedback. Uh, so we'll click the link in a minute. It says, Lyricism. This sad style is fairly overpopulated, but I try to focus on my real situations and my transition to having better mindsets. Found in the description of the song. Do you think these lyrics properly portray this? Vocals. One of my friends told me I sound bored within the recording. I guess in my head I went for a more chilled back approach, almost vulnerable. I'm clearly not the best singer, but do you think it will do? Mix. I've been trying to get into mixing and making vocals sound clean with the microphone I have. Any improvements you can hear from this mix? Your opinion and any other feedback you have. Don't hold back. I'm here to improve. So being real goes a longer way. Okay, cool. So this is um, Cute Cry Rebuilding. Let's see. Doesn't sound like it's going to be a drum and bass tune. Nice guitar so far. Although it sounds like it's. Oh. It's not drum and bass! Why is it all. I've heard that before. Um. Yeah, I mean, this is probably somebody who's not a regular on the channel and has just seen the tweet asking for demos. Um, so I don't know if they're even here, but... Um, That's what I can manage. Do what you do, I'll go dream big. Not guaranteed, but I'll go for the win. I live in stress, but I fight it. Come back here and I run to my bros on the crew. Trying my best to save myself. Are they here? Um, when it's when it's something like this that I don't know and uh, I worry it might already be released and somebody trying to like get me DMC striked um, I'm always a bit skeptical um, sounded all right to me so what a quick bit of uh, <laughs> Lyricism, the sad style is fairly obviously populated, but I tried to focus on real situation. I mean, uh, it's not my forte and like, I'm not the right person to critique this kind of music and to be helpful. I don't listen to that too often. Voice sounds fine. I wouldn't worry about your voice. Sounded all right to me. Um, uh, I'm looking at the lyrics here. I don't know. It depends on what you want to achieve with all of this. It's not really uh, my forte. You need to drum and bassify this button instantly makes any SoundCloud track. One. Yeah, with AI, you can immediately turn your song into a drum and bass one. Just uh, do this and then then I will feed it back. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't know what to say to that because it's not uh, what we're here to, to help with. Um, uh... One of my friends told me I sound bored within the recording. I guess in my head I went for a more chilled back approach, almost vulnerable. I'm clearly not the best singer, but do you think it will do? Um, yeah, I don't know. I I wouldn't listen to this, really, but it sounded complete as a song, kind of, but I skipped through it. Um, 
<laughs> Fred says, give it to the ants. I'm not going to give somebody's very nicely thought out a song to the ants. And the ants would like it anyway. Um, so, yeah, well, thanks for that, CCC. Your voice sounded fine to me. I thought you maybe you'd rolled off a bit too much low end. Um, I didn't really like how you'd chopped individual phrases and almost overlaid them because you know where you would normally need to breathe in between lines and stuff but that's a stylistic thing and uh this is not my kind of music i don't listen to that kind of song the lyrical content of it doesn't speak to me because i'm not in that mindset um but you know it it sits alongside other stuff that sounds like that i guess um the backing sounded all a bit dry the main thing in the background was the guitar and it sounded like it originated at a different bpm and had gone through an algorithm so it sounded a bit like uh algorithmized um you know um so maybe you would want to have a, a guitar that was played at the organic speed of the song that would sound nicer um so yeah but i mean that's not a drum and bass track and i do clearly ask for drum and bass tunes for these demo sessions so that's the best i can offer right now on that one but thank you for sending it in and good luck with your music and uh definitely don't worry about your voice sounded fine you're a better singer than i am and i've sung on my own tunes and i don't care <laughs> um maggie glassman thank you uh for the follow and uh popping into the chat uh skinny wrist gumbo says the aunts would go crazy for this one i reckon to be fair um pred says i produce this kind of stuff it sounded good bored is a style most of the people i help sound bored yes <laughs> i'm bored all the time i think most of us that think about stuff are generally a bit bored and uninterested in in stuff um and it's fine and it, it's a, a perfectly valid state of being it doesn't mean um, you're not in interested in things. Um, it's just how it is. And you just accept it and carry on. Um, so this also does not sound like drum and bass, but it's the Mad McMahon is in the place. So uh, let's go. So this is an OSC for the Kilohertz 1 synth made entirely with sounds from Kilohertz 1 and effects from the Kilohertz Snap Heap. Ah, okay. Oh no, it's okay Mad McMahon because you're here all the time. And you're actually here now, so it's good. It's nice when somebody sent a demo and they're here. But sometimes there's random ones that pop up where just some randomer who's like seen demos written on Twitter is like spammed everywhere they can with it. And like, they'll never listen back to this YouTube stream. They won't ever come to my Twitch. They just kind of want one more play on their SoundCloud. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm not saying that's the case of anybody that's submitted so far, but like there is a lot of that about for good reason, because it's impossible to get your music heard when you're starting out or unreleased and all that, so I don't blame anyone. Um, you're sounding good. This is all coming out of a Killer Hearts... Killer, I still haven't used the Killer Hearts phase plan. Yeah. Have I got any coffee left? Yes, I do! Yes! It's cold, though. My Yeti cup is not... Oh, I love that bass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like Cosmic Disco. I really like that bass there. Yeah, I need to have a look at Facebook. I was hoping they'd sort me out with a freebie. I even I got an intro and an email and I replied saying, yeah, hello, I'm, you know, love to try your stuff. Nothing, crickets. And I know they sort out loads of people freebies, so now I'd feel pissed off to have to go and buy it and then use it on stream and be like, yeah, I'm using Faceplant when they've like blanked me, so. Out of principle, I might not use it. Oh, I like this. This is nice. I love that bass sound. Yeah, I'll try again. I mean, they'll be at Nam right now anyway. They'll be just be busy doing all the stuff they have to do. Like, I'm not complaining. I understand, but it's just... 
I really, really like this. This is lovely. Only five people in the team. Wow. I do get told about their stuff a lot. Like, it's obviously very, very good. Although I'm not the kind of... I don't really get deep into tweaking my own sounds and everything. I want things where there's big libraries, loads and loads of sounds that I can use kind of out of the box, or I can find a sound that's almost what I want and then easily tweak it into how I want. And also tweak throughout the song, especially bass sounds and things, to give them movement throughout the track. That's what I look for in, in soft synths. Hello, Dougie Fresh. I think I've got some freebie ones as well. Okay, I'm going to have to put this on my list. Yeah, um, Mad McMahon um, sounds very nice. Just a nice dreamy bit of uh, sort of space disco there, really. Um, I'm not sure how much feed the feedback you really want on that. Like, it, it floated over me very nicely. Um, lots of nice elements. I think sort of you don't have much of a bass line like the, when the bass line comes in that lovely dum 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 that's I, I love it um maybe I love it because it's sparse it comes it but it kind of appears and then disappears and when it disappears there's there isn't really a, a bass line so that's something I would maybe look at um but I don't move in these circles so I don't know what people usually do and um you know what the the meta is um but yeah big up to the mad mcmahon thank you very much that was called gomic throwic groove uh mac hence radio mix very nice good work good work good work so today is demos day Smash that subscribe comment button and don't forget to ding the bell icon because it really helps the channel. Thank you very much. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to tell us what you think in the comments down below and maybe I'll read the comments in a few years. All right, this one here is from Stampede. It's called 211. It's sounding quite menacing already. Uh, there's no comments, so we're just listening to this blind. It's quite nice when you submit your demos in the um, SoundCloud if you write a little sentence or two. Um, if you want to, just if there's anything you already were wondering about in a track you'd like advice on, or any background or whatever. Ah, here we go. elements are here but it just doesn't sound sound right to me um like arrangement wise um are you here stampede are you in the chat um sounds like stampede knows what they're doing for the arrangement like the little edits coming at the right point and everything but the kick and the snare just don't sound quite right the sort of the bass sound just doesn't sound quite right like the Drums sound a bit bare and a bit dry. Um, I love the sounds in the intro. I like there's a few little synth things popping up in the, um, in the background that are nice. Like the, the arrangement's good. It's just sort of my first instinct is sort of uh, the core sounds are doing the right thing, but they're just not quite like the right sounds. Like the... That's cool. The, the way there's the emphasis on certain bits in the bass there. I like that edit there, the, the, that's really good, the way it all widens out and all the nice reverb and 
This sounds like very pro. Oh wow, it's going all uh, Blade Runnery. Sounds a bit quiet as well. Um, So, the atmospherics and everything in this sound beautiful, really, really nice. Um, I think the drums let it down. It doesn't. It doesn't sound like everything's. It, stuff's not glued together very well. So I don't know what's going on on the mastering chain, but that a little place you could fix it the kick and the snare just don't sound right to me i'd i'd certainly look at switching them incorporating some breaks maybe in there as well um the 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 main i can't it's hard to put my finger on it sometimes i just can't like i just know i'm not feeling parts of it um but i don't know how to constructively suggest doing things to change it like the arrangement's good and it's just like sort of the bass is playing the wrong notes and it's kind of the wrong sort of sound but it's, you know I, this sounds to me like sort of derivative of the nine by bad company kind of you know what i mean like it's sort of a two-step and a sort of rumbly grimy bass with occasional edits you know if you if you remade the nine with completely different drums and bass and everything but had the same sort of attitude like there is a relation but the nine is the nine it sounds absolutely banging and mental and this is sort of like the the drum sounds are not as good and the bass is not as good like uh, it's, it's it's hard like so i would i would work on changing the drums uh keep the pattern uh and work on it using different kind of reeses and stuff some of the sub things and everything sound all right i think overall mix is all right the sub your sub could be a little bit louder, but that's just a mastering thingy. The drums, like there's multiple different snares at like different pitches there, which I'm never a fan of. Um, I really like the breakdown. I really like the pads and the core, the the chords and the atmospherics and stuff you've got in there. But um, I think it's basically let down by the drum pattern. Maybe add some breaks, switch out, try a different snare. Um, create movement with some more shakery type things coming in every now and then. I know I always suggest this and things, but I think it's a sort of a thing that always fixes stuff that sounds like this. Um, and I'd, I'd look at changing the core of your bass, the sort of the character bass in there, because it's that's the, an important part of how this this tune kind of um, goes. So, but yeah, that's good work there, Stampede. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. I hope my feedback's helpful. Sometimes I don't really know what to say, but I'm trying to like give you what I think is would be helpful. Sveno Yay has just popped in with a 13 months sub. Thank you very much, Sveno. Thank you. Big up, Sveno Yay. Brady. Ah, you missed your feedback. Yeah, you were almost first. We loved your tunes, Brady. Thank you very, very much. Uh, both of them were, were banging. I think the second one was my favourite, um, but there wasn't really much I could think of uh, to sort of really improve them from what I remember. Like they're both like pretty pretty cool and you know um, worthy of getting released and all that. So uh, good work. Definitely, please keep up us up to date with um, what you're doing. Um, so we're pushing our way through the. Um, the Discord where everyone submitted their stuff. I need to hydrate myself. Hold up a second. Don't want to get dehydrated or we'll have an error. 
Right, so we've got one here by Pragmatic. Have we got Pragmatic in the chat? This one's called Mouse Trap. We need a mouse trap in our garden. We've got a mouse in the garden. Mouse in the garden, what time am I gonna do? Not much. Let's give it some cheese. Pragmatic's here, okay, great. This one's sounding louder, which is always a good sign. Sorry, I'm yawning. If I yawn, it doesn't mean I don't like it. I promise. I'm just a tired boy. Sounding good. Being the intro's being built nicely. Sorry if I don't sit here like nodding my head like crazy all the time when I do music stuff. I'm just, I'm not that kind of person. Like, I'm listening intently. Ah, so this is another sort of two step low rumbler. Watch John B's demo streams with him yawning over my your music. I like that whoop 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 sound. Yeah, so this one has got lots of activity on the top end. Um, the snare. Midi kind of, don't know, whack a soothe on it or something maybe. Um, one note bass is like always a bit risky. You've got to have a really good bass sound if you're going to be doing that. It sounds like to me, you know, you've got a nice sample and you just go, and it's just undulating. Yeah, bass could be a bit louder in the mix, and you could have a bit more low end on it. Kick sounds alright. I think the snare sounds okay, but a bit more tops, a bit more snappiness to it. Get rid of a little bit of the mid on this, the snare. I think... I mean, some tunes work well just like staying on a level like this. But it's a bit of a plateau. I mean, it's nice for a, you know, warm up -y stepper kind of thing. <laughs> what was the Petrol Boys album cover with Neil Tennant yawning? Uh, please, there's got two of them, or is it actually one of them? Yeah, <laughs> it's a sign of respect. <laughs> I like that high undulating string there. Nice little edit. Little reverse snare going in, little touches. I think that the tops, the hi-hats and things are a bit drum machine-y. Maybe you could use a tambourine or something from like the Think Break instead. It might give it a bit more of an organic feel and not sound so drum machine-y on the hi-hat side of things. There's a sound in there on the tops that sounds like a sound you hear on the tube on the underground of like the railway line metal scraping. I kind of like that. Good little edits on the bass there. I like that what 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 sound. This, I think I. It all. There's nothing in the mix down that's like terribly out of order. Um, it is a bit on a plateau, like nothing happens much, but there's lots of tunes where nothing much happens, you know, the whole of Tech House, for example. But um, I, there's room for doing stuff on the top end, maybe just a little bit of a synthy, you know, choiry chord, atmospheric something, you know. If 
you don't notice if the bass is more of a one note thing and not doing much if there's other things going on in the track so you can get away with having a kind of a one note bass if you've got some other activity going on so that might be a way to elevate this um i would look at the tops on your brakes and maybe think about trying um switching out from lots of drum machine 808 hi-hats and things that you've got there and substitute in a sort of a, a splashy break top endsy bit um when i do that i sometimes like i'll side chain the kick and the snare so that the toppy break on top dips when there's a kick and a snare that helps it sound a bit more natural like the nice tambourine from like the think break or something um and um the snare uh was almost there for what you've got going on um i thought it was a bit mid-rangey but i think it just twiddling with the eq you could tame it a little bit or stick something else on to give you a bit more nice transient with a bit more tops or something um those are my personal thoughts on it you don't have to take them on board or anything but um that's sort of what we're here for is um to play it to everyone but that was very competent good uh good bit of drum and bass there nice vibe so um big up the pragmatic thank you very much for um playing us your tune uh, Gav says, can I skip yours and go back to it after the next one? Okay. Uh, we shall do that. We've got Entropy. We've got two Entropies. Um, what, so you want me to play one Entropy? Yeah, we can do one Entropy and then Gav, I suppose. Is there any reason behind that? Um, I, you asked, so I shall do it, I suppose. You're just finishing up a meeting. Ah, okay, right, cool. Yep, sure. All right, um, so we're listening to some Entropies. Uh, looking forward to this because we loved his stuff um, last week. Nice. Oi, oi, we've got the Entropy in the place. I put that as my uh, air horn then, not, not in a tune. Really good. See how on this intro, like the tension, there's like building just from the notes that are played in that. The intro makes you feel like something is about to happen. Like some intros are just chill and that's cool. Some intros you're just like, okay, cool. I'm not really interested. You're already boring me. Like this, because of sort of the types of sustained notes there and it just gives you this vibe immediately that like something is going to happen and you you want the song to develop. So that's a... A, a good example so far here. Go. 
there's something about the snare that is triggering me a bit. Like, it sounds like there's the initial attack, and then it sounds like there's a white noise that is kind of going afterwards, and it sort of is confusing my brain into not thinking the snare's got enough attack. Um, there's something about the snare sample that's throwing me off a bit. Um, and I think it's to do with the release. I can, yeah, I can hear on the snare, like, a, a, a white noise, like, f f the, like, the tail of a snare should kind of go, tsh, not, f and so I think that's a bit wrong. Like, um, it's a kind of a matter of opinion-y thing, but that's something funny going on. Sounds like the vocal saying chakra as well, not shake it. <laughs> chakra. Nice to hear some acid kind of sounds in. I like that. That's a nice old wormhole thing. Good risers, drum builds and things. 4-4 four, four bit, cool. There's nothing that stands out on me there as like requiring mega feedback. Sounds good, complete, overall mix is cool. Like I'm not super into it just on a personal taste thing, but like you've seen me going through the promos I get sent from labels of stuff that's coming out. Um and you know, this this sits more in like releasable side of things than than demos from unsigned types of people. So my my way of critiquing tracks varies depending on like the level that I see it sitting in, you know, from like beginner to someone whose stuff either has already been released or is worthy of release or, or whatever. So sort of um, when I'm commenting on your stuff, it's sort of like I'm, I'm trying to, there's, there's, it's more like the things I would change are more like a matter of taste. And sometimes there isn't anything I would really change, you know, if it's just not my kind of vibe, it's just not my kind of vibe, but that doesn't mean it's bad or, or anything. It's just, um, but yeah, it sounded like the intro was really good, like really set the stage. The, the intro was very impressive and just had that kind of wanting stuff to happen. Um, the snare is the only thing I w can think of that I would look at. And it's that, um, as Thistle said, maybe it's something to do with the compressor, like making the tail come up more. Um, and as it sounds to me kind of like there's an element in your, you know, presumably like you've made that snare yourself with like a transient and a fundamental and a tail or something. But it sounded to me like the tail was getting louder rather than drifting off. Um, so that would be cool. Sounds like quite busy, lots of stuff going on, but it's cool. Um, I really like how you keep it interesting. Keep the Oh, we've had a sub from Gabriel Alcantar in with a 23 months. One more and it's two years. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, like, um, you, know, you know what you're doing. I, I love your stuff. Um, I can't really add anything to that, really. Like, it's it's good to see, you know, variation in the bass. Lots of stuff going on. Overall mix is, is fine. Like, nothing stuck out at me as being out of place or too loud or too quiet. Um... <laughs> main thing for me really is that the snare sounds like it sort of got squished a bit somehow and there's something funny going on on, on the release that's the only thing i would sort of request you look at if like if it was important what i thought <laughs> if you know what i mean um but yeah good work there from entropy shake it 
I think we've got another one from you here. Um, so we'll go on to that and then um, we'll go back one for Gav Chap because he was in a meeting, very important meeting, doing big business, importing, exporting. Oh, straight in on this one. I think this is like a work in progress. Like in this. So this one's by Entropy as well. It's called Contact. The, the main thing I am hearing here that I would change, like, is the main drums could just sound a bit better somehow. <laughs> that I love the little edit. That <laughs> it's a bit preset -y. I love that vocal bit in there, that's bang on. I love that reverby vocal thing as well, that Atmos, that's good. The <laughs> That, that's the only thing that leading towards amateurish. And the drums, because it's not a break, it's played, it's sort of... You need to add something in there to make it sound a bit more natural and breaky. In my opinion. Really like your pitch down, chopped up amen edit there, that's really good. I'd make this more reverby. I'd have a uh, more some like sustained atmospheric -y chord thing over all of that because that whoa, 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 what chord is kind of it's a bit like a sample and it's not blurring into each other as much as I'd like with the release. Hello, Modib. Greetings. Sodi likes the vocal cut and treatment. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I think your overall sub could go up a couple of dbs probably i do like that i do like the drums i think maybe they just benefit from a bit of bit more tops bit of eq and like like what i said on the other ones like maybe just a bit of a shaker or something like an organic shaker that isn't a triggered sample like the flipping you know shakers from like uh, think or uh, I can't remember the names of the bloody breaks I use but just some of the classic sort of drum and bass breaks um, just some splashy top endy stuff I think could be all that you need there because you're it sounds like a nice break but it's obviously replayed um, and also uh, as Thistle said there I think like you might be pushing the limiter or the compressor or something on the drums a little bit yeah hot pants yeah that sort of thing just to give it a bit of um liveness because it's a good strong snare and it like it sits right but the drums feel just a little bit squashed maybe with like a sort of off um a more like dillingery samurai break kind of um ride in there in between yeah maybe a bit of the samurai one or hot, hot pants something so you've got a shaker here that's cool but that's still a sort of program you want Yeah, I, I uh, and I like the sort of pitchy low Reese bass. But it sound it's sounding like the low low end could do a bit of a boost, like it's missing, like rolled off the very very low on some stuff. I really like that. I prefer that over the other one. Um, 
nothing about it i really hate or would really 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 want changing or anything and like there's a lot of things you could do that would make it even better i reckon um i think some stuff to just get the break sounding a bit more real um and a bit of eq stuff uh and the breakdown if it was down to me personally um I'd have a bit more stuff in there to kind of mask the sample triggering nature of the kind of chord stuff you've you've got going on there. Um, and yeah, maybe look a bit at what, I don't know what limiting compression stuff you've got going on, um, but Thistle in the comments is um, bringing that up and I think I, I agree a little bit. So nice one, brother. Pick up the um, Entropy uh, for submitting that tune. That's called Contact. Um, Stints is saying, where are you requested for the DJ Ron podcast? I would love to see you on there telling my story. Um, no, I've, I've actually started getting recommended a lot of the DJ Ron video podcast stuff on YouTube and I've, um, skipped through a few of them and I, it's the kind of thing I'd really, really like to watch a lot of them start to finish and really, cause they're brilliant. Um, I saw a little bit of the Kenny Ken one. I watched a fair bit of the hype one, um, which made me want to just phone hype up and have a chat and be like, how are you doing mate? Um, big respect. And, um, they, they all fill in a lot of gaps in my knowledge of background of my sort of peers and heroes and things um it would be really nice to go i don't really know ron very well i've only met him in passing a couple of times in clubs um so uh, i'd be up for it if he wanted to do it i'm not sure he'd necessarily want to talk to me about anything um because i'm not on a par with like most of the people that have been on there at all it's all the sort of proper old originators that have been instrumental in like building drum and bass and were there at the very beginning and and all of that like um so i don't know um i mean i could talk about my stuff and everything but I, i'm not i don't really sit in the same um originator legend um slot as everyone that he's had on that i've seen at all so um i don't know um but i'd be up for it if he wanted wanted me to go in like we could talk about streaming and and stuff or like i can yeah i can always talk about my experiences in that but i um i don't know a lot of lot of his you know hype and kenny ken and people and 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 fabio was on there like talking about like the start and like the creation of jungle and drum and bass and like everything those guys all did um uh it's just it's just mad and like i uh i i can't uh i i wasn't around and and part of of, of all of that stuff um so um yeah um all right so we're going back now to um gav uh demos Right. Um, so here we go. Base incubator in from our man Gav Champ. Always come through the goods. What have we got today? For use in the dancing rave slot. That dong 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 dong. That uh, sounds straight out of um, Sub Focus. Uh, didn't we have this? We had this last time, didn't we? Have you gone back on it? Uh, Robin G says, thanks for the podcast tip. Yeah, absolutely. Um, look up DJ Ron. It might be, it might be under the name like DJ Ron film. Um, but it's on YouTube. Um, and he's done, I think he's done like two seasons of them now, but they're all really nicely professionally filmed in a studio. They do it. It's, I know the studio it's in, it's, uh, in the AEI building where they run UKF and everything out of, um, but he's had like Goldie hype, um, Fabio, uh, Kenny Ken, 
I think he had Nia Archives on there, um, Charlotte uh, Devaney, um, lots of interesting people, all like deeply entrenched in the drum and bass scene. Mickey Finn, yeah, um, I watched some bits of the Mickey Finn one. Um, and, and there's lots of people who I really, really, you know, obvious, obviously absolutely highly rate who are heroes of drum and bass and everything who I've met loads of times over the years. Some of them I know a bit better than others, but I've never really had a chance to have proper long conversations about everything. You just sort of, you know, you might you might get the chance for a little, you know, meaningful chat while you're waiting for a flight or... Um, you know, sitting backstage somewhere. But half the time when you are having conversations with your peers, kind of, although I'm like, I don't know, I'm not like, I don't consider myself like a peer with all of those names I mentioned then, but like, because um, they came before and originated everything and I came in after and I'm just lucky to still be here. Um, but, you know, it's technically like co-workers kind of vibe. Um, you don't, kind of get the chance to have proper chats or I haven't I, you know I should probably make more of an effort or something but I don't know like, I've got my own issues haven't I um but um unless you're like the best ones are when you're sitting next to somebody on the plane and you're both not tired and not hung over or whatever and you can have a proper chat and there's no distractions there's no interruptions like because you could there are times when I'd, I'd love to catch up with somebody backstage and and you just get interrupted by either like other DJs that you're friends to or just annoying drunk people or, you know, it's your turn to go and play or whatever. And these are people I love and I love their music and they're my heroes. And we have so much in common because of our love of drum and bass and careers and, you know, go through the same shit as each other, you know, flying and traveling and early starts and the, how weird it is playing at huge events or small ones or, you know, we both remember how it was back in the day and now isn't it funny we're in the flipping rave in LA or something and um, uh, it's it's really nice to, to see on a podcast like that proper in-depth conversations talking about where people came from and their experiences Um at the beginning of drum and bass and what their career's like and their views on everything and um uh yeah so i really really rate that what well, there's lots i haven't watched it and i really got to get through them because uh the stuff i did watch is ron asks very knowledgeable interesting probing questions of everyone and he knows them as well um which really helps um so i'd really really uh recommend you watch that like the the dj ron uh stuff on youtube um i'm not sure they call it it's the london something uh podcast isn't it um but it's dj ron's thing um so yes anyway enough of my that's my ted talk on telling you what to watch on youtube <laughs> welcome to my ted talk <laughs> it's not a ted talk <laughs> um so, um, right, uh, Gav, so this is, I'm listening again here. This is the one that you said was a bit like scrambled, strangled duck. Bit more reverb going on on stuff now. I always like the kick and the snare. That sort of dirt, 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 dirt thing on the top is sort of. Is it too quiet? Is it too reverby? Was it there last time? This is always difficult because I've listened. I listened to this last time and gave you some feedback, right? And now I'm listening to it again, and I'm like, I can't remember what I told you to do. So if you did all the things I asked you to do, and you've, and now I'm like, actually, uh... <laughs> oh, that was an addition, was it? This the sort of the synth thing yeah i kind of yeah because it sticks out to me a bit that synth thing you did all the things i can't remember what i told you to do though the rave stab is new yeah i don't know if i like it because it sounds good like this just as is sounds nice low end could be louder it's lacking proper proper sub the the wow wow thing is a bit too wet, a bit too reverby. Hello, Sean, by the way, and um, 
Hello, Subton Audio. Your one had the rubber chicken. No, this one I remember um, said it sounded like Strangled Duck, which was an old Lifting Spirits tune. Yeah, mix needs to be louder. I think the the bass has got a bit too much reverb on it. I think last time maybe it was a bit too dry, but the bass sounds too verby now. Since likes the rave stabs. Just coming in now and then. I don't like this bit. Do, 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 do. It makes sense, but I just... It's a bit too much. Also, the note length on those rave stabs is different for different notes. Like, I'm a, you, when you watch me, I'm a stickler for, like, making them all exactly the same length. Which it doesn't, you know, it's not always right, but, um, yeah. Thistle says they think the bass warp is too wide and too wet. Room reverb with more width range, less top-end fizz. I also think you need to push the side chain much more harder, duck everything out of the way of the drums and nestle the hits in those gaps and bring everything up to match. It sounds a bit wet, um, like too much reverb going on on, on the bass. I think my two main... Co I, I love your kick in your snare and like the overall vibe, it's cool, this is nice. Do we have an intro? I present to you the bass encabulator. I like the little vocal thing, that's cool. Rave stabs all right there with that pattern. I don't hate it. Not into this pattern. I think I'd just remove the rave stabs in this section. And I think the main thing is there's a bit too much uh, reverb on your bass. I mean, actual bass should always be very dry, but the mid-C bit, you can have some. Nice fill in there, nice little tom roll. The ride's okay, but maybe I'd try a different ride symbol there, personally. We, I, I seem to always recommend a bit of shakers, you know, the tambourine from a uh, think break. <laughs> but definitely too much reverb on your your bass. That's the key thing, I, I think. Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm liking that. Sounding all right. Um, I yeah, like basically a bit too much reverb on your bass, in my opinion. Uh, Maybe have some variation in the tops on the drums, some shaker, tambourine things, bit of a breaky thing, just a little tiny, you know, just tiny little touch, like all the low end removed. Uh, not a huge fan of the rave stab, but it doesn't sound too bad in some parts, but other parts I just like remove it. Uh, and if you are going to keep it, there's a, there's a section where I can tell that some of the notes are a bit longer than others and I feel that they should all be exactly the same note length and that might make it sound less weird to me. Um, Gav says, you know what's weird? There's no reverb on the bass, so I think it might be the release on it. There is that wow, wow. There's absolutely like reverb on that, like some kind of room hall on the wow, 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 that thing. I mean, I d that's, there's low end sub stuff. I don't know if you've got like a low end sub and then the synthy thingy, not the sub. The, yeah, the sub sounds sort of dry. There's If it has got reverb on, I can't really hear it. It's that wow, wow, wow thingy. Like, you need a little bit of reverb on it, but I would tone that right back. Like, if that's sort of 100%, I'd tone it back to, like, about 20. Um, no reverb in the chain at all. So I have no idea where it's coming from. Ah, okay, yeah, have a look. It's uh, it's definitely somewhere, something. Uh, it might just be a random bus thing or something like that. But, um, yeah, good work, Gav. Big up. Give you, give you a horse sound for that. Whee! Wild horses. Big up the bass incubator. Um, so we've listened to both of Ben's tunes. Um, 
What's next? We got another one here um, from Gav. This one's called Moist. It originally had a vocal on. You've removed that. Okay, cool. I'm not sure I remember this. Nice piano. Not hugely into that distorted bassy thing there. I like the piano line, that's cool. I didn't post this before, okay, good. I don't like that super saturated thing, and I'm not a fan of that. Or that synth. Really like your drum roll. Kick and snare sound fine. Very, like, you know, sort of high contrasty drums. Perfectly acceptable. The synthy stuff sounds very wide. Um, it's meant to be happy ish hardcore, says Gav in the chat. I think, yeah, your sort of bass sound sounds really wide in comparison to everything, so it sort of sticks out a bit too much in the wrong way. Um, I like the piano. You've got the, the piano's nice. Notes, you know, nice chords and everything. That sounded like something was a bit late. I think your crash symbol's triggering a little bit late there. Yeah, I bet your crash symbol's like one beat late or something. Or the trigger on the sample. I bet I think your your sample probably has a quiet bit before. Yeah, your your crash symbol there. Look at the audio file, and I can guarantee where the sample's triggering. It then goes up and the crash like hits here. So you need to correct that if you want it, you know, if you want it to sound like that with it, like the crash being a bit late, then fine. But um, that's that's just a quick editing thingy there. Um, Stints420 um, says, I want to say a big thank you to John for doing this. You've been listening to Breakbeat since 91, got out of the business in 2004, but it will be my love until the grave. The amount of new talent and people who share the same love for this music is amazing. And it really makes me feel good to be part of something that is now getting taken over by younger generations. Wicked. Nice one. Yes, Stints. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here regularly. It's always good to see you in the chat. And um, nice of you to hang out and listen while we're um, checking out everyone's music. Um, Sean says you would introduce the stabby bass sound after the piano intro, maybe. Yep. Um, Thistle's making some good uh, comments here, saying you might add a high passed clap to the snare with some reverb faded in to create a nice fizzy tail on the snare, too. Yep, that would elevate things a bit. Um, Kev WPL says, Will I go through all of the demos? I don't skip any unless they're um, trolley or obviously not drum and bass or from someone who's not in the community and is not here and hasn't read the brief and has just posted a sort of random hip hop song or something. Um, I work through them all. I don't skip anything uh, unless there's a reason like that. Um, I don't necessarily get through everything on the discord in this session, but I pick up where I left off next time so i never miss any we just keep and i keep i i try to do as many as like i do this for hours and hours like um we did about like five hours last week going through everything giving all the feedback listening to everything um so i you know i do get through everything eventually kev yep um and um 
Uh, I upload these ones to YouTube so you can watch them back afterwards um, if you can't be here or you're in meetings and things like that. So um, you can always get your, your feedback afterwards. Um, whether it's valuable feedback or not, I don't know. It's my feedback and I try and be positive and helpful and it's only my thoughts. I'm not trying to preach that what I say goes or anything. It's just sort of uh, offering my perspective on, on stuff and trying to help um, and everyone else as well like we're all extra pairs of uh, currently we're 86 pairs of ears listening to uh, these tunes and um, everyone in the chat is um, chiming in with their thoughts which is great it's what we're here for um, I want to say a big thank you to Stints420 for the three months sub thank you thank you uh, thanks for the nice comments as well and uh, Mr Twist thank you for the, the prime thank you for six months Mr Twist so nice one yeah so uh this one nice one big up for the moist i think that th you could get away with leaving the snare kind of as it is but um if you did thistle's little trick in there of uh adding a bit of a clap and a little bit more tail it wouldn't hurt um main things for me is your sort of uh staccato y bassy distorted -y guitar thingy is a bit too dominant and a bit too wide for me um i'm not a huge fan of the do 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 so maybe try something else a little <laughs> it's funny i was about to say maybe stick a little vocal in there but you said on a previous version you removed the vo a vocal so uh i don't know but yeah that's that's um that's all right like and i love your maybe have the, the drum fill in a little bit more often because that's a really nice drum drum tom toms fill um so good work there thank you very much sir we're on some amazing have we got amazing in the place where's the amazing hold tight i'm amazing always look forward to a bit of amazing on these uh these streams this one is called Clouds. He's here, all right, cool. Nice chords. Nice vibe for the intro, set in a tone. Sounds like a good intro so far, definitely. Nice dreamy vibe with a name like Clouds. This, it's sounding like a, a song called Clouds so far. Very nice. I really like this so far. Hey! Oh, fantastic. Good. You didn't fuck it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's just right. That's what I wanted it to do. Mad McMahon uh, in the chat says, I love these streams, they give me inspiration. Great. Yep. Really nice, just sub subdued. That's not necessarily the right. Just the, the bass is just doing what it needs to do. Let, letting that guitar sing. And it's just a lovely chord progression. A little vocal might be nice on top, or like a little muted trumpet. Just a little something on top, just every now and then, like a tiny little touch. Kind of become calibre and like, just give it a little something. <laughs> I like how you've doubled up on the synth line there. You've got another one coming in a little bit. A white noise shaker would elevate the pacing of this here. Yep, that's a good good shout there from Thistle. Yeah, little shaker. God, we recommend shakers on flipping everything, don't we? Stick a shaker on it. We should make a, a coffee mug that says, put a shaker on it. Yeah, a little bit of arpeggio would be good as well. That could, because it wouldn't interrupt with the uh, guitar too much. Yeah, nice, a nice little arpeggio thing somewhere. And the string is really nice. The wah. No cowbells. <laughs> we need more cowbells. 
Maybe not. Guess one. what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. <laughs> Sorry, we just ruined it. Ah! Sorry, sorry, I'm amazing. Someone mentioned the C word. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of some shakers. I'd also, this synth line on top, the notes are perfect, that sound is perfect. But I'd maybe pad it out a little bit more with another one as well. A little bit more tops on the snare, a little bit of a clappy thing on the snare maybe. Oh, that's good. You could do some sort of... um inversions of the note pattern with a something on but that's over complicating it it's lovely to just keep it simple and just roll it out nice um yeah all i can think of on that um bass could be a bit bit louder a little bit more snappier on the snare some shakers in places shakers in places um chords following the guitars after they drop there was a nice moment there at the end where the guitars finished you could take the sort of lead line that the guitars represent and replay it with something else um but the 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 main guitar riff and the way it's mirrored with that string on top is really nice and you can just sort of like float through those um subtle piano might would be would that be too much says mr twist that's a good thought could work just that, that could be i was thinking that you could have a little element in there like either like a muted trumpet every now and then like or a sax could do it or a little piano riff you know a sampled one not a played one um um so yeah th i mean i really like that that's that's lovely i that's my kind of drum and bass you know sort of sun and bassy beach vibes um Really, 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 really good vibe there. So big up to the one like them. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Demo selection. MC Darrison singing on it. Yes, he would be put. Yeah, I mean, if you had a if you had a vocalist that you knew, a a beautiful vocal on top of that would sound amazing. But um, it sounds good enough without vocals, and you don't want to have to. I don't think you would need to go to those lengths to um to make that lovely and releasable, right? Um, S three G A underscore 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 in the chat says, do you only rate instrumentals? No, um, I. Well, I'm not. I'm not rating things. We're listening to music made by the community here. People that um, watch my Twitch stuff um, and trying to offer feedback uh, to help improve it. Um, you know, we're we're all acting as extra pairs of ears, giving feedback, uh, offering thoughts and sort of advice, but um, I'm not saying I'm uh, in a position where I am uh, qualified enough to give advice, but I'm just sort of trying to offer my thoughts from um, from my, my side of things. But um, we're not here like judging stuff or anything like that. It's just trying to be helpful. Um, and, um, uh, you know, because you sit here, watching me make tunes three days a week <laughs> um so uh it's nice to listen to your stuff and um see if we can find ways to help you improve um conclave says didn't know it was demos day damn dumped a track in but don't think we're getting there today uh, yeah we put that i i counted at the beginning and i think there were about 35 in the queue so unless there's a load of um non-drum and bass stuff um or like troll things or whatever that we we skip um we probably won't get to any that are at the bottom of the list today but i mean as you know we like 
continue from where we left off next time so um won't won't miss it um I don't want to do I I see a lot of people that do these and they they have a thing where if you do a donation or a a sub or whatever you can jump the queue um and as much as I'd like to gamify these things to my financial advantage it's sort of it I don't like um think that's right really i'd like to just be democratic about this and give everyone a, a fair shot um because i know how frustrating it can be um waiting your turn and all that um so um yep um but the the general rules for anyone that's it's their first time here or whatever i need to write something somewhere that's the the rules as such but um drum and bass only if possible um or at least if you want feedback i don't feel qualified to give proper feedback on something that isn't drum and bass but i'll happily listen to it especially if it's people who i regularly recognize from being active in chat and in the community over a long period or or whatever um i i've found that most of the demos that come in on here that are like random and not drum and bass are people i've never heard of before never seen in a discord never seen on a twitch quite often don't even follow my twitch channel um so they're usually outliers anyway but generally like drum and bass only these have to be demos that are not released uh and are not signed um partially because it's the idea if this is to help people improve who are unsigned and trying to get their music out there and everything um and also if it's stuff that's signed or going to be released or whatever it's basically then becomes the kind of thing that will um get picked up when i upload this onto youtube afterwards and it'll get flagged and all my monetization disappears so i have to chop it out before i can go live and like there were actually a couple of them on some of the last um sessions i did where people had kind of self-released things on distro kid or or actually signed stuff but not really being clear about it and then when i uploaded my five hour vod of the whole session I couldn't monetize any of it because there was one song on there that somebody had released and not mentioned it. So I had to cut that section out before I could like make it public. So it's a bit of a pain. Um, so I need to put like a statement somewhere of um, a few sort of recommendation things. Um, if we could set something up on the Discord like a forum rather than a channel and try to establish people are here in chat and they get priority, then go to submissions for the VOD but that could be difficult doable but yeah i don't know um yeah if you have any ideas i think it works fine like if it's a track that's obviously an outlier we just sort of skip it like be being respectful and everything but um you know i i can pretty much tell when it's someone who's just sort of who the kind of person that goes through twitter just spamming their soundcloud link like they stand out a mile off um and that's easy to just sort of, of skip um uh right so here we go i might quickly stretch my legs and top up my water because i'm feeling a bit headachey and everything i um even though these like demo listening streams are sort of easier than when i'm making music because it's sort of more passive i just i'm listening to the music and saying my thoughts and and everything i'm staring at the screen a lot more intently and concentrating a lot more because i'm trying to think of what to say and i guess i'm talking a lot more than when i'm sitting working on tune so I need to step away. Well, I've done all right. It's two hours 40 in. Um, but uh, I feel like I need to step away and like look at something else for a second and and whatever. Because uh, when we did this last time, I, w I wanted to keep going past like five hours. But um, I was really like, fuck, I'm mashed here. I need to go out and like shake my head about. Um, so um, Stint says, just have a moderator for Discord that goes through the tracks and deletes the ones that will cause trouble. Ah, no, I mean, uh, that's something I can do. I mean, all it, it just, I wouldn't want to have the, the mods do enough stuff for me anyway. And like, I'm happy to see everything. And I mean, if they pop, it's kind of funny to see if somebody's a bit mad and they posted something that's completely wide of the mark and like disrespectful <laughs> of like what we're trying to do here and then just be like, nope. <laughs> so uh, we, I should actually make a stinger specifically for that for someone that didn't read the manual, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, quick be right back. I'm going to top up my water and go and not look at a screen for like three minutes so um here we go be right back hitting an ad
Ah, oh, the lighting's a bit... Is it better today? At least my face looks like I'm in... Look into the light. Um, how does this camera look as well? Hello. Welcome to my channel. Ah, I've gone over my cable. Fuck. At least this, it doesn't seem like there's ants here attacking me, so that's good. Um, Petiao 1337 says, Can I have a question? Ask me a question. Go for it. I am listening to your question, uh, PCR. 1337. Uh, Grim Music Official has just followed. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Um, do I celebrate today's day? No, I don't. I'm aware people do. Um, I, uh, I've never, I've never done drugs, believe it or not, the way I look, and, uh, I'm four and a half years sober from drinking as well, so I don't drink, I don't smoke, don't do drugs, don't care, <laughs> um, drugs and alcohol are, are boring as far as I'm concerned, um, but I, uh, if, if you want to do it, that's up to you, it's fine, um, but not for me, um, but, uh, happy 420 to those of you that do celebrate it, I hope you have a very nice, uh, relaxing day, um, uh, Brady just passed three years off the source. Well done. Congrats. Um, well done. Well done. Um, yep. Yeah, all good. Happy four, <laughs> happy 420 though. PCA, uh, 1337. Um, it's not just the stoner thing today. Is it not? Uh, wait, I don't really know. I don't really, uh, I don't know. I don't <laughs> Ryan Fergo says, I for one am well stoned. Okay, cool. Well just pay keep paying attention. Keep don't 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 um drift off on me there, right? Thirteen years for subton audio. Ah, cool. There's a few more sober crew in here than um I th I thought there would be. That's nice. It's good stuff. It was funny, um I went to a like a university reunion thing last night, um, just like a small small crew um and it was sort of interesting to see um like there's only one person that got like really hammered everyone else was cool but like um uh it was it's one of those situations where like when you're a drinker and you want to quit drinking you're like oh i could never do that sober i'd, I'd have to how do you how do you go out not drinking and like it's not even a consideration for me. I'm just like, I don't care if everyone around me is drunk or drinking or whatever. I don't mind holding someone's beer for them. I'm not going to be like, oh, my God, it's a beer I want to drink. Like, I don't give a fuck. Um, 
it's totally fine uh that's something that i think a lot of people don't get when they want to quit drinking they're like how will i ever manage being out where other people are drinking it will just make me want to drink and whatever and like it just doesn't or it doesn't for me i just sort of decided to stop and i stopped and i'm very glad of it and uh it's fine and you know um stint says at some point you have to you've gone too long to fall back yeah i just don't i just don't yeah you'd be ashamed yeah i like i just yeah i decided i wanted to stop and i don't want to drink and like i'm not interested in it i just think it's it's boring really um and and that's that no no uh judgment on people that still do i just know it's not for me and and that's that's that really um i don't like being around people that are drunk and annoying like i don't know it, i just i don't like annoying people anyway like I don't like talking to people that are stupid and babbling nonsense at me. Like, there's no entertainment in that. Like, I've, I've got other things I'd like to do with my time. And if I'm talking to someone, I'd like it to be an interesting conversation that I can learn from or be entertained by or, you know, just learning about them and what's going on in their lives and all that. But if somebody's just sort of lost control of their shit and is all hammered, like, that's not my kind of person really um anyway uh welcome to my ted talk on uh how i quit drinking Meow. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why i put the cat in there i've started putting the cat meowing and everything <laughs> Igor says, but you travel to Russia, all over Russia with your sets. How can I hate annoying drunk people? <laughs> I don't hate annoying pe drunk people. I don't like hate them. I just don't like being around annoying drunk people. So I avoid it. I always avoided it. Um, but uh, yeah, there was quite, well, I, I don't really feel like there was more of it in Russia than anywhere else. You know what I mean? Backstage at a gig in England, you get plenty of annoying drunk people like germany austria like pretty much everywhere you go there's equal potential for annoying random drunk people right um so <laughs> doesn't really doesn't really matter um and for a long time i was an annoying drunk person so uh yeah well so stint says like pirate station must have been mad like pirate station is one of the really really big uh russian festival thingies i played at a lot back in the day usually um the bigger the event the bigger and more professional the festival kind of thing is the more boring the backstage is like um and it's crazy it's one of those reasons why like people like me are a bit mad now is like how fucking mad it is that you're sat in this little backstage room just chilling with like there's a sort of funny little fruit platter in a fridge with sort of water and whatever people's drinks are in the rider and like sort of crappy old ikea couch and stuff and then you walk along a little corridor or go through this door and it's like and there's ten thousand people out there and fire and lasers and you just sort of you go from this kind of like duh, 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 like sitting there you know texting my mum saying yeah i'm in moscow it's it's quite cold but yeah i'm on stage in a few minutes and then and then you just go through this door and it's like johnny b a massive rave and uh and then you finish your set and you come back and and your sort of hand is like oh so was it good john and you're like yeah, yeah it's all right it's cool and they're like you want to go back to the hotel now and i'm like yeah just let me um grab one of these um chocolates and uh we'll we'll, we'll drive back yeah because they've got a flight in the morning <laughs> and it's sort of um but because they like bigger it's just more sort of quiet and organized and background in the in the in the back yeah finish like, oh there's a banana there i haven't had i'll take that back for me breakfast shall i and meanwhile in the background it's like <laughs> flames <laughs> next up <laughs> and there's and then you know there's sort of weird people on stilts walking past in the background and then the things in that i'm just like yep yep I text my dad like can you pick me up from me throw tomorrow i think i'll probably be through at about 4 30 yeah yeah gig was all right yeah it's fine it's, yeah it's pretty good had a good time um anyway uh demos <laughs> So this one is called Demo. 
It's by Skinny, spell S-K-Y-N-N-Y. John's Rider states bananas, chocolate, croissant, and access to <laughs> access to a gravel bike at all times. I should put that. If I ever got rich and famous enough to demand such things, I would absolutely request a gravel bike with panniers and a banana to put in them. Skinny Wrist Gumbo is in the chat right now. This is his tune. I love the thumbnail. Look at that. <laughs> it's a good intro. Nice breaks. Good headsy vibe about it. Nice atmos. Some of this is a bit square wavy in the subs for me. I've got a thing about square waves, I don't know why. <laughs> but that's just personal taste. Nice use of stereo on the bow, bow, bow. Mentasm or whatever tasm that is. I like all the Atmos sounds using on the top. The yeah, the sort of vocal thing. Wicked edit there on that drum, the sort of phasey thing. Nice main sub there, it's good. I like the boom, 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 boom. It's good movement. I'm not, the two sounds in the bass I'm not too into is that. But I realise that's part of the signature sound of it, kind of, so it's... What's up, Fakey? Asking if I'd like to do a Beatles cover. Yeah, no, uh, not going to happen. Yeah, I think everything else sits great, like in that vibe, the sort of headsy vibe. Um, it's that boom, boom, boom. I think that lets it down a bit. I don't know what I'd replace it with or how I would change that sound, but I love that sustained chord and your stereo uh, rave stab thingy. I like that. Hey, hey, that's great. <laughs> what about some think shakers and maybe a cowbell? <laughs> now you mention it. <laughs> the drums sound a little bit back in the mix. Or at least the main break. I would maybe nudge that up a bit in the volume. The main sub is sounding good to me. I don't know if it's getting side-chained. I love that edit there in the drums. That's wicked. Hello, Bo Hall. Welcome back. Good to see you, mate. I've had the dispatch on my running socks that you recommended. So it might come uh, in a couple of days. So... Uh That boom, I'm not a huge fan of that. Yeah, maybe reinforce the kick with a, a low, like a, you, uh, you've probably seen me do similar, just um, whack in a, a really nice low kick, roll off all the tops and the transient stuff, but just use that whenever your kick hits, have that to give it a boom like a proper weighty whack on the kick um so that what you have there does the transient and the top stuff i think that's quite important actually that's good thistle brought that up generally the main and the kick and the snare i'd sort of turn them up a tiny bit a little bit more tops on the snare 
um, and and have a look at the sort of mid rangey bassy bit. It's all like I mean this this sounds fine as is like of the of the era. It sort of sounds like it's from. Some really nice little drum edits there. I love the overall atmospheric sounds, like that's all spot on. Overall mix balance sounds cool to me. So um yeah. Nice one there. Big up skinny. Thank you very much. Like that. My kind of vibe. I'm glad like almost everything that you guys send in. I'm into. It's my kind of I guess it's because, you know, you're here watching me and we sort of share a similar outlook on stuff, but um Almost always, I, I like the stuff, you know. Even if it's not like my cup of tea, I, I like it and I appreciate it. So, um, you guys are doing good. Um, right, this is Mehruna's Lebron. Ah. I saw you in chat earlier, I think. Yes, you're here. Great. Here we go. How are we looking? This one's called Mothership. Lil Lynn Collins is coming for sponsored royalties. <laughs> yeah. If you, uh, you know, who do you thought about maybe putting the Lynn Lil Collins break in? Yeah, yeah. Nice intro so far. I'm getting video game intro vibes. Can you get a Dropbox link? No. You have to upload your demo to SoundCloud so that I can play it easily the same way I'm doing with everyone else. Sorry. It just it just makes life easier for us all to be able to play it quickly. I've got a lot of these to get through. I'm getting kind of 90s straight to TV horror movie soundtrack vibes a little bit. And I mean that in a good way. Definitely with those strings. It's not sounding like the sort of thing people would play in DJ sets, but I like it as a piece of music so far, like stylistically. Yeah, the, the drums here are like... I, I like the vibe, it's making... I, I get, you know soundtrack of Night of the Living Dead 93 remake sort of feels um, so it really depends on like what this is aimed for and where you expect it to sit the drums need work for me like it all sits together nice and it's cool but it's Nice edit there, nice little amen edit, that's good. I think the drums need completely reworking, really, if you wanted it to sound more acceptable. This is not sort of like a... It sounds more like sort of, you know, sound soundtracky, gamingy, movie soundtracky kind of type stuff. I like the vibe, like it's it's got a nice overall or vibe. Um, but the drums are sort of a bit too weirdly busy. The the individual impacts of the snares you've got there, they're kind of lacking a transient smack. They're a bit too quiet. Um, and like missing off the first beat when it comes in from the break. Sometimes works, I don't think it works there. I think the drums should be a bit louder. They, they're a bit too quiet compared to everything else. I like all. Of the, I like the palette of sounds. But the, 
the main the main snare needs to be swapped out for something else. It just it sounds like all the transients have been chopped off. So I think that would help a lot if you had like a, a good main snare at least. And and a bit of a so add some continuity with a bit more of a regular kind of shaker or splashy tops or something like that. So yeah, those are my thoughts on that. I like I, I like the overall palette of sounds. I like the overall sort of vibe. The it, as a sort of genre and sort of science fictiony horror movie fan, I like um, the atmosphere you've created there. Um, if you're trying to look towards it being the sort of thing that would get released nowadays or fit into sort of modern drum and bass you need to work on definitely the breaks and the drums and um make more noticeable like build up points to where the drums come in like, i don't think, really think there's any rises in there so that would be a thing to add um and i think when the drums come in after the intro and the breakdown you've you don't have that first kick in there which you need in the way the track's laid out here. Like skipping the first kick is a good little edit trick to do later in the track, but not at that, those points. Um, also, maybe a bit more reverb on some of the strings and things. Like it fits the 90s horror movie aesthetic to have that kind of obviously synthesized orchestral string thing in there, but. If you wanted to go the other way and make it sound a bit more natural or a bit more atmospheric, you need more reverb and pads and things like that in, in place. So those are my thoughts. I like that. Uh, good vibe. Big up to the uh, the Taikong mothership, the Mehruna's uh, LeBron in the chat. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Um, and we'll do... It's demos time. So we have the second one here from Amazing under his Hansen Varkas alias. Always interesting um, thumbnail art on these things as well. So nice one. So show us what you got. Show Amazing. What you got. Hopefully the feedback was useful there, Mahunas Lebron. Thank you very much for showing us your work. Looking forward to hearing more from you. God, look at the bags under my eyes. <laughs> After years of staring at drum and bass projects and logic, John B's eyes started to slowly get sucked into his skull, leaving nothing but a pair of iPhone displays. <coughs> bags for life, says Conclave. Sounded good. Drums are nice and snappy. I like that. Both the kick and the snare are like got weight on them there. I'm turning this up. Ooh. Bass is too loud. Yeah, bass is too loud and too wide. All the elements are nice though. Really like this. Really good break, good pattern. Nice edit on top there. That wow. And uh, the the arrangement of the intro there was bang on. I like the way you had that spoken vocal sample thing. Yeah, and as Conclave said, take note <laughs> if your track isn't mastered and smashed to pieces, people just turn it up a bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Yeah, good development there, like something went away and the new uh, rave stab thingy comes in. Main comment here is the bass is giving me a headache because it's um, like a bit too loud in the mix. Luckily it's not crushing everything else. This is this is something where you could probably add some weird fuzzy stuff to the top of the bass and it would it would sound good. Some of that like, you know, Dillinger compressor fuzz. Yeah, mentasms are spot on. Sometimes I don't like them, they don't sound like they sit right, but they suit the track. The smoke and vocal sample, spot on, perfect for the vibe. Chords are good. We'll call atmospheric pad thingy that reverse trumpet atmospheric thing's good really like the snare really cuts through good mad mcmahon says sounds fine on my shitty work headphones good that's a fantastic test booze not booze uh said the thumbnail looks like it's from ghostwire tokyo game it looks it looks like it's you know ai generated or from something like that right That's nice with that trumpety, screamy sound on top when it came in there. I like how you've got the ride on the top of the snare there. It's, it's, it's great. <laughs> Wicked. I love your your little uh, reverby, atmospheric -y things on the top there. Hello, Cy Brown. Hello, Astalock as well. I've, I've seen you around. I don't think I've, I've shouted you out yet. Yeah, I mean that's it's cool. Not not any major major comments on that really. Perfectly competent. Sounds good. The only one really for me is that the bass uh, just sounded a bit too loud. Like I'd maybe turn it down by a couple of dB, and I'd maybe experiment with adding a sort of layer of saturation or something to it or some of the fake saturation fuzzy bits maybe um i the snare i really like this the snare like it's just nice sort of has good impact but it's like very tight i like um how you had the ride on top of the snare sort of to give it a bit of a um decay or a release kind of thing arrangement it's cool. All the all the individual sounds are nice. Um, no major comments. So there's nothing jumps out at me as um, anything hugely wrong with it at all. Um, so yeah, it's good. And like the notes, the bass is playing fit. It's got a good sort of raw energy to it. So yeah, big up. Good good work there. To them, amazing. <laughs> So, we have something new from Kai here. Have we got Kai in the chat? Kai's normally hanging around. Oh, kick sounded a bit loud then. Let's see if it's... Yeah, kick sticking out of me. Might be because we've just got things a bit too loud here, don't know. Let's see. Yo, Kai's here. Okay, cool, good. good. Oh, I like the main beat. That's a really nice main break. The sort of mixing of it is a bit off to me but the main drum loop is good i hope you stick with that for the rest of the track this sort of drum sort of feel like quite 1985-y oh yeah A sort of a fog post fog horny edit on the bass. There's a hint of one there. 
there you go, yeah. Yeah, but the, the drums kind of just need more tops on them, EQ-wise. The, it just, it all sounds a little bit dull on the mix. It's like the, the whole mix could just, but that's a, a sort of whatever you monitor on makes it go like this. It's sort of thing where at mastering you just like bring up the tops on everything would probably solve it. It's a shame I can't really easily do that to demonstrate. The beats, everything within the beat is nicely balanced. I like that little edit. Little bit muddy in the low end. Ever so slightly. Those main pads, maybe more reverb or something on them. They sound a bit, bit, um, like, like, I mean, it's obviously a sample, that like main pad, but if there's something you could do to make it a bit more, I don't know, <laughs> play the same chord with a warmer pad underneath it to sort of give it a bit more. The kick there sounds too loud. This is same as in the intro, the boom. That's, that's too loud, that boom. I don't know if that's exactly the same kick that's in the break, but it sounds a bit like out of place in the loud. Yeah, the, so when the drums are going, the kick doesn't sound as loud as it does in that in the breakdown in the intro. It might be something funny that the um, your mastering like chain limiters doing to it or something. Uh, but that's a, a little thing to that's a quick quick fix anyway. There's room there's room for a few more interesting nice bass edits. Like you hinted it with that square and the fog y thing that comes in there. I'd make that more distorted and a bit louder and a bit more verby. But the main like the main sub things doing nice work, but I reckon I reckon you could elevate this with some more or a sort of um, just do more of that make that longer and more distorted I think that would add to it a bit drums great though it's a real nice nice vibe everything's on a good level there good work give that a big up the Kai <coughs> so that one's called Out of Reach it's by Kai Really like that. Um, so, yeah, hope, hope feedback was helpful there. So I think, like, overall EQ on everything, brighten it up a bit. Um, look at the that kick in the breakdown in the intro is a bit too loud. So assuming that's a separate kick from the break, I think you can just turn that down a bit, maybe roll off the low end. It sounds like it's very bassy. Um, the kick in your break tends to get a bit, disappears a bit among everything else. So I don't know how much side chaining you've got going on of your kick and your sub. Uh, if you haven't got much, maybe increase it more so that the kick has more impact. I like your main sub, the sort of low Reese thing. And I think you could maybe do a little bit more with your, the, the Foghorny bass edit that comes in. I would try making that a bit more distorted slightly longer note and giving a bit more mad reverb at the end of it maybe um and the main pads that you have i like the sample vibe of it but i think it needs to be a bit more wet a bit more reverb and i think you need maybe the same chord played behind it with a sort of warm mellow pad without much top information or something to help sort of warm it out a bit um those are the things i would do if there's my first look at um you know trying to improve it a bit um I, did i mention the tops that I th you saw anyway but like generally like all of the i think you could probably just lift all of the tops of everything certainly the drums it just that sounds like an overall you know monitoring situation where 
because of your room or your headphones it just sounds duller to me than maybe it does to you out of your speakers um so yeah wicked really good vibe love your stuff thanks for sending us some more appreciate it uh thank you very much to night shifter for the sub thanks for joining up night shifter that's the first tier one in from you big up thank you very 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 much uh got some uh, chat in the chat talking about getting some poltex tube tech um good good advice from thistle talking about pro l with a mid side thing to deal with weird stereo artifacts yep um all good stuff on the it's a shame that on the on the replay watching back on youtube here you're not going to see uh the chat but i'll set it up so that it's overlaid on the actual video for people watching back but when you're here live on twitch which is the main point of all of this you can obviously read the chat so that's that's uh fine here we have a couple of tunes from our friend absent who um blew me away with the on the first demo session and uh, has been sending in some really 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 good stuff um not sure how i describe it just like really good intelligent mellow nice um mature sounding D and B. So looking forward to checking these ones out. Um, hello to Night Shifter in the chat, and thank you again for the uh, for the sub. Hello there to Well Adjusted. Um, absent, I think, is absent, but I think uh, he's usually busy in the day. Um, but he watches these these back. So um, let's see what we've got here. Show me what you've got. Show absent. me what you got. Really like this so far. <laughs> oh, some really nice, tasteful distortion on stuff there. Yeah, big up all the callers, big up all the missed calls. Big up all the missed calls. <laughs> Lovely uh, hi hat there. I really like that. Really nice, airy, wicked little drum edits. Hello, Trummelbach. Everyone in the chat loves this. Moose says it's sick. Well adjusted, digging it. Who's not booze is wondering if Absent makes techno as well, because uh, there's a techno producer called Absent. Quite possibly, I don't know. Kai's got to drop off for work. Okay, cool. I'm glad we got to your tune while you were able to listen. Really liked it. Thank you very much. Kai, big up. Big up. Tasteful distortion, increasingly rare these days, says Moose. Yeah. <laughs> really nice um, job on the uh, sort of ambient, distortion y reverb top end stuff. I think the drums could be in like the snares, could have a little bit more snappy top to them, just on EQ maybe. Skinny wrist gumbo had to come back from cooking the bacon to say, nice tune. If you're watching this back absent, they like it, they like it. I like it. Gotta say, absent looks pretty cool as well, look at that. Nice shoes, nice... He, he looks cool like his tunes. Got, got a, an aesthetic. I love the um, Pirate Radio MC uh, chat. Like, it's really nice. Like, it just sets the sets the tone for it all. And the the breaks and the little edits on the breaks is uh, wicked. 
sub is nice and subby, like overall mix. Sounds good to me. The distorted bassy bit is not really my cup of tea. I love the distorted atmospheric synthy bits in it, it's wicked. Oh yeah, certified banger. Oh it is a certified God. banger. Yeah. Certified banger. It's banger. Hold tight all the jugglers inside the ride. Yeah, really nice. Really nice. Yeah, very, very good job. Really like that one. That's uh, by Absent. It's called Sonar. I think we've got another one of his called uh, Refuse. Uh, it's a version two. Oh, yes. Love that break. Haven't heard a nice double bass like that in a while. Drum sounds a little bit the drop, the, you know, the break. Oh, this is the intro though, so it doesn't really matter. I love the way he uh, positions the vocals and things with that kind of the sort of distant reverby sound, like burial sort of vibe. This all says should send me Cyan Ball. Is that one of your tunes? Say that. Interested to know where the vocal came from here, if it's, you know, like safe to use or. I think, like, I think it's an overall mix thing that, you know, mastering would fix, but. I feel like the, the drums or the snares kind of need a bit more tops on absent stuff. I think that's just down to like monitoring. But it kind of also works as it is because it fits the aesthetic, so. It's got that sort of warm analog vibe to it. Yeah, like sort of tape saturation. I think I'd turn up the double bass there. It deserves to be higher in the mix. I think the chopping there, the kick is a bit late on the... Uh, if you look, I bet you, uh, if you look at the triggering on the sample of the kick there, I think it might be slightly late. I like the edit there on the snares. It's really uh, mature. Curious about the vocal, though, if it's uh, safe to use or if it's a naughty sample or something. Oh no, Picard's run out of battery. Bohol, sorry. I did have him on earlier. Picard needs more power from the warp core. The snare could do a bit more like transient, like it's 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 okay and like it. I I feel like the mix is like a stylistic thing, um, but 
I feel like the the snare and like it could just everything could benefit from a bit more tops on the EQ and everything. So maybe that's an overall mix down thing. But it's kind of nice how it is as well. It's it's weird and interesting. But um, yeah, really really like that one too. Um, curious about if the vocal's safe to use or what. Um, maybe look at the kick in the at least in the breakdown bit there it sounded like the sample chopping was slightly slightly off a bit just on the kick triggering um and the snare personally i would try to tidy up with a bit more snap to it at the start and a bit more tops um other than that not a lot to add like that's 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 great stuff like very high quality so thank you very very much to absent Good work. Give you an applause and a for that. Chat really liked both of them as well. Very popular with the Twitch crew watching. Um, ah, Sean. So, um, this is from Sean Nice. Uh, we love his stuff. Uh, he says, hi everyone. Here's the first and only Ragga Jungle track I ever made. Not my genre, but one day I was in the mood and now it's time to share it with the Loft crew. All right, let's see. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. This was made six months ago, but that's all right. It's not as old as some stuff some people have chucked in early on before we started spotting it. I think we had one demo that someone had made 12 years ago. Which is fine. Imagine that. Imagine signing something that was 12 years old, finally. Finally! <laughs> Sean's stuff is generally a bit more like old school influenced. Um, tracks I've liked his have bef before had a sort of, uh, sort of good looking vibe to it. So this is uh, going for a bit of a ragger vibe not really my forte i'm not really very i've never really played much ragga stuff i don't feel very qualified to sort of uh critique it but um i like it but i'm, I'm not like knowledgeable enough hello chest dark side and if it's good it, and dated really well exactly says jess yeah Yeah, Conclave in the chat saying, yeah, there's like 12-year-old tracks, released things, signed tracks, lots of things that are not actually demos. But that's okay. Master's a bit quiet. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn this up. I just have to... Please, after this one, remind me in the chat to turn it down, otherwise we'll be running the reds and you won't be able to hear me uh, giving my TED Talk on adding think break to the top. Have you thought about adding the think break to this? Hmm. <laughs> oh, nice amen edits there. I think you're, you're missing low end on the bass here. It, it hasn't got, like, the proper low end to it. It's a little bit there, but... You definitely need to boost your lows. Really nice Amen edits. Doesn't sound very uh, raggery to me, really. It's more just, you know, sort of jungle. I like that high-end uh, sustained thing you've got going. That really helps kind of glue it. on this one is you need to sort out the low end and like give it some proper subs under there just sort of boost boost the sub part of all of your bass sounds um, I like the amen break stuff you've got I like the sustained high note thing that you have that's really good bit of atmosphere to it 
not a huge fan of like the main bass pattern and stuff, but it's cool as a, if this is your first attempt at this kind of style. Um, so just add some messages coming. Yeah. yeah. Good work, Sean. Nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> Nice work, nice bit of um, retro sort of jungle vibes there. Thank you very much. Um, Circle Six, Murmuration. What's this? The year is 2023. John B had survived the attack of the killer ants in his studio. Miraculously, his computer was spared, and the only injury remained on his ankle after being viciously bitten by a silicon ant. As he returned to health, he was regenerated by the invigorating sounds of Circle Six with his song, Murmuration. Turn down volume. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Well adjusted. I'm adjusting the volume. <laughs> he, beca <laughs> he became mad. <laughs> yeah. So snare's not sticking out enough. Bass is a bit too loud for me. Bit too much reverb on all these synth things. Have we got Circle Six here in the chat? Space is space is all right. It's acceptable. A bit lacking on the lows, apart from in certain notes. So the guitar-y bits and things like that are a little bit too loud for me. Thistle says the sub is far too loud, which is making everything else get crushed down on the limiter. Which is also super hard, working super hard, and you can hear the attack and release on the limiter audibly, yeah. Yeah, there's like a lot of mad limiting going on. The bass is too loud and the limiting is there's too much limiting and because the bass is too loud it's sort of crushing everything else. So first thing, definitely turn the bass down. Side chain the bass off the kick if you're not already. If you are, do it more. Um, which would hopefully fix a lot of the other things like the drums are not loud enough, the stairs not cutting through enough. I'm not hugely into all the synthy stuff. I suppose if you frame it as it's more synth wavy, then they'd make more sense. Some of the synth things sound a bit too loud, but I think again that's probably because the limiter's pushing too much. And it's making things sound a bit too loud now. Good, good little break and all the efforts there to make an impact for when everything comes back in, like a riser, drum fill, all doing all the right things there. More dynamic range equals more scope for cowbell. More, there's more cowbell. Maybe I'll some cowbell. What? I got a fever. Maybe. We need to the only prescription some, uh, is more cowbell. <laughs> yep. Um, so, yeah. Um, drums sound all right and everything. Like, the, the break is probably okay. But main, main changes here, I would say, that w is to... The first thing you do, you've got to turn the bass down, tame your limiter a bit, because the combination of too loud a bass and too much limiting going on is affecting the whole mix and shaking everything off. Um, and it's, it's all sort of everything else is getting buried. The drums are not cutting through enough. They sound too quiet. Um, uh, I like what you've done with your attempts at like building stuff up before 
the drums come in at the, after the intro and the drop like you've got a riser you've got drum edits and everything nice atmospherics i'm not hugely into the synth sounds and things and some of them sound like very very wet and they sort of stand out against everything else but a lot of that might be happening because the limiters on too much of a hardcore setting um so i would need to sort of hear that after you've done a, a couple of the radical changes um but overall that's very nice like the bass is a nice little bass line i think if it was tamed back it wouldn't sound as off um <laughs> Nice, some nice little Reese things in there. What's that? Time to stand. Time to stand. Standing. I've been sat down for three hours and 37 minutes here. Nice guitar. Doing a stretch. I'll just stay stood up for a minute. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my standing desk. Yep, yeah, good work there, Circle Six. Thank you very much for that one. It's called Murmuration. Give you a round of applause. And a... CPT Eho says you like the tune. Aslock told me to hydrate. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. Oh, and I didn't really fill my water last time. Hello, and uh, welcome to my TED Talk on uh, standing up. Ideas worth spreading. Have you considered the impact your music could have if you just added a few simple shakers, turned down your bass and used a bit of a limiter on the end? If you added a bit of glue to your tune, you could be standing here too on my TED Talk talking about ants and uh, <laughs> Ted D and B. <laughs> yeah, Ted D and B. Oh, that's what I should do. I should change the... I should Photoshop it to say Ted and B. That'd be good. Um, Fadex. Oh, I should stand up more often. This is all right. You can see me. I don't look too... Well, I already... I look weird anyway. I put glue in my tune. You put the glue in the tune. You just open the USB drive, squeeze it in, and... Um, what's a USB drive, anyway? Uh, right, so Fadex subgrade. What do we have here? Show me what you got. Moose produces better while standing up. Okay. The beauty of wearing headphones is it sounds the same wherever I stand. The benefits of origami are twofold. Okay. To sit down for this one. Okay, this is this is like the other way on the old on the mastering the limiting. It's a lot quieter. I like all I like the ingredients. I just think there's the wrong amounts of the ingredients here. So on the bong, bong, there's some sounds that are triggering slightly differently, so you've got a flam effect there, so you need to tighten that up. Hello, Wellsy. Wellsy's in Thailand. Make some noise for the Thailand crew. Hold tight to humidity. Hu Thailand's terrible for my hair. I hope you're having a nice time and your hair is not uh, getting humidified. Sawa decap. That's, I think you say hello in Thai, right? Some funny stereo went on there. It just went over onto the right. I think that there's like bang, bang, bang. That sort of stands out. I think the overall mix of all of the drum sounds there is off. Like certain drum sounds are louder than ones that should be louder, and some are quieter. And um, I like the sort of the sounds you got there. I like that main kick sound. Um, it's not loud enough. You need to get your balance of sounds right there's not a lot going on rather than just 
a loop though. Nice synth there going into the breakdown. Also, mega side chaining there. Hair game is on point for the Wellesley. Good to hear, good to hear. Are you somewhere nice with a beach in Thailand or are you like in mega busy Bangkok getting uh, run over by tuk-tuks and um, having people throw ping pong balls at you? <laughs> nice atmosphere stuff in the background. I think the, the main snare is far too quiet. I think the kick and the snare, the sounds in the drums are probably okay for this tune, but the relative volume levels are wrong. The sub needs to be louder, like everything, it's a quiet mix, so I think you need to just sort of have a bit of a master chain on there. Just do what I do, just sort of bit of a light compression first, um, and then a bit of limiting to sort of boost everything, glue it up a little. You can have like high sustained string to add tension in points here. You haven't really got much of that going on. Um, some of the atmospheric sounds are just a bit too quiet and in the distance. I like the drums though. It reminds me of sort of early Matrix and Crust and stuff like that. It's, it, it's uh, That's sort of where it sits for me in the ecosystem. Um, but I would work on... The main things to work on there, I would say... Overall master, like in terms of loudness and EQ and everything, I think the drums, your choice of drums and everything could work fine if you, for me, if you changed the relative levels of all the bits and bobs to get everything sitting together better. Um, and again, and, and the ba the kind of tune it is, the bass is good enough as it is, um, but you just need to get the volume sitting right with everything. Um, I w there's not much going on in terms of arrangement and development and stuff, it's kind of just sort of a bit of a loop. Um, apart from, you know, atmospheric -y sounds in the background sort of coming in and going away, nothing much changes. So you've got a lot of scope for adding some edits in and thing, adding interest and extra bits and bobs. Maybe some stringy type stuff on the top, even just a sustained note or a, like, a, you know, that Doc Scott tune like Swarm and it's got like the something on the top every now and then to give it a bit more extra info where there's a gap might help um those are my initial thoughts hope that's helpful thank you very much fadek <laughs> Uh, Conclave uh, made a good comment there. He says, the snare needs the snap in the sides. Drums can have a touch of parallel reverb to help add some stereo information. Um, just make sure to keep low mids controlled with the side info and no side info below 100 to 200 hertz. Fair enough. That sounds like that's a bit too sort of complicated business for for me to to do like um i think yeah maybe the snare could have a bit more of a snap just i would just add a snappier uh snare into the mix roll off most of the low end and shit and like have that with a bit of stereo -y reverb and everything um that would also do the trick if you don't want to delve into mids and sides and and all of that stuff um i think the choice of sounds are all good there i like it um so, uh, another one here from Fadek. This one's called Fluke. I really like the vibe of that last one. Um, it's good to hear. I like the variation in everything that we're getting here. Oh, yeah. Okay. More of a, like an electronica y drum and bassy vibe here. Oh, yeah. This is cool. Again, the mastering, I think, uh, suffers. It's like, it's quite quieter and a bit duller. Stylistically though, it sort of works. Um, nice and dubby. Stillhead would like this. This is Stillhead's kind of vibe. It's got that kind of dub techno vibe to it on, on the Atmos. Yep. Sort of Aphex Twinny vibes to it as well. Like it, it makes me think of, of Aphex Twin. I really like all the stuff that's going on in the atmosphere side of things.
Shades of Tricky, says Moose. Yep. Definitely. Yeah, really like the dark vibes on this. And the sort of relentless, hypnotic rhythm. I like that Reese coming in. There isn't really any sub bass apart from what's coming from the kick. So you might want to look at that. The snare is lacking a bit of tops, but I kind of like how it gives that the, the sort of accent rather than the snare. I really like all the uh, distorted atmospheric hits and, and stuff. I like how the bass then was one like That's cool. This is probably a good 420 tune, right? It's got that sort of <laughs> vibe. Honey Bunny, give me your money, says digging this. Good stuff. Yeah, good tune. Skinny Wrist Gumbo says, this guy's got a lot of potential, good taste in sounds. Yes, I agree, I agree. I really like that, that's just just nice. Mature, um, deep, uh, you know, it's not dance floor, drum and bass or anything, but um, I, that's the sort of thing you would want to play to somebody like Pressure, Samurai, or like D-Bridge, um, Instrumental, and see what they think, like people that really specialise in that that sort of the autonomic sound or whatever um but i really like that i'm i'm a big fan of sort of chill electronica um and you know that that sits in that that slot nicely not a lot to um to add to that really you know you can you can brighten up the mix and everything but for something like that i don't know if it's really necessary um i keep looking at my screen and like it looks like i'm where this t-shirt was cheap as shit when I bought it anyway, but it looks like I'm wearing... My mum would be like, why are you wearing rags? You're wearing rags. Look at the state of your... She doesn't have an accent like that, but the, the, the way the collar's all sort of ruckled up and everything, it looks like... Um, yeah, anyway, big up the fluke. Thank you for sending that one in. Today is the demos. We'll listen to the demos. 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 It's demos time. Demos, hold tight the demos. <laughs> yes, yes. It's demo time. D -d 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 demos. Uh, time for a quick hydrate. Could you hear that? Did I do an ASMR drinking? <laughs> AS, is ASMR, AMSR, I always get it wrong. Fadek one, thank you. Was that you? It was you! Oh no, did you just come in? Oh, you were there. Okay, good, you were watching. Oh, that would have sucked if you literally just joined the chat um, as I finish listening to your stuff. Thanks so much. Really, really like them. Love the vibe. Um, really, really cool, like, mature electronica, especially the second one, that one called Fluke. Really, really, really nice. You saw it all. Good, 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 good. I like, I hope my, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm qualified. Some of these tunes, I'm not sure I'm qualified to give advice on things. And I know some of you don't need advice or want it or or whatever. But um, yeah, really, really nice. I, I like that second one. It's the sort of thing I totally like chill to at home. Um, when I'm when I'm gaming, like when I'm off stream and I sort of have time for a quick little hour playing Escape from Tarkov in the evening sometimes. Um, when, I don't know, I haven't played on stream for a while, but when you play Escape from Tarkov, you kind of, sometimes you have to wait for about five minutes before you actually get into the game. Once you've said, let's go to kind of wait for the server to put you in and everything. And um, that's a really nice time for me to, I just, I kind of, I've got these headphones on sat behind me and I, I listen to ambient stuff and, you know, chill electronica and things. 
and just sort of you know flip through reddit on another screen while i'm waiting for the game to start and that's totally the kind of stuff i'm into and enjoy listening to then so big up the fadek and uh moisin's in the chat hello i am well i'm good how are you hope you're well how's your desk situation going um remember you asking about that last time so here we have another one um from pseudosaurus um conclave says what do you do if your pmc dies and your scav is on cooldown um well you just do another pmc run like you don't have to alternate to, between scav and pmc although that in a perfect world you would well most people that are good just keep doing pmc runs especially if they don't die um because like a scav runs just free stuff but you don't get any um xp on it but um yeah i mean you just you just uh you just have to keep playing as a pmc and if you keep dying you lose your stuff but if you're insuring it a lot of times it just comes back anyway so you're still plastering the room all right good luck oh god are you doing the plastering yourself fucking hell that's uh that's some skills that's not not something i would attempt myself even though most diy tasks i'll have a bash at but um that was when I needed plastering doing here. Um, uh, I uh, I got someone to do it because it's it's one of those things where it's um, a specialist would do a better job than I would have done. Conclave sold his house. Well done. Congrats. Just before the interest rates go up. <laughs> um, Booze not booze says maybe that was in the beginning Tarkov streams you only occasionally watched or ten minutes of inventory management. Yes, you always have that. Yeah, whenever I play a lot of it's just uh, do me inventory and shit. <laughs> well done on well done selling your house, mate. You must uh, be very relieved. Um, uh, so what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Um, hopefully I don't get any plaster in my computer or this will happen. System error. <laughs> this is sounding nice so far. We've got um, Pseudosaurus in here. Looks like he enjoys the outdoors. Look at that. Is that Cornwall? Are you here, Pseudosaurus? It's the ants. Don't know the ants in the computer. That's yeah. It's the ants. <laughs> Moisen says he's a plasterer. He just makes the mix and carries it upstairs for the real plasterer. <laughs> skimming. Are you good at skimming? Oh, sounded good. Sounded good. So this is Pseudosaurus, a song called Worth It All. The ants are chewing through the plasma conduits. <laughs> it's the ants. It's the ants. This is six years old, Pseudosaurus. I still like it. This is another thing that's just more of a Aphex Twin school of doing it, which I, I'm here for. It's nice. Machine gun aiming. Let's go, says Moose. I like this. This is just sort of a nice, um... Oh, there we go. A little bit of a bass in there. This just makes me think of, like, you know, a bit of CJ Bolland, the Aphex Twin, Square Pushery, you know, Electronica-y drummer bass. Not like the kind of drummer bass that we play in clubs and, and all the rest of it, but... Very nice. Quite happy. He looks like a happy man as well. Big up Sodasaurus. He's out for a nice walk on the, uh, the coastal path there. Having a nice time. Making nice happy tunes. Yeah. Oh. Completely changed the drums. Nice little saxophone noodling away there. Yeah, 
that's that's cool. Um, made it, it was made six years ago, so I don't think he's gonna load that one back. But it's nice to hear. Nice happy sort of vibes. Uh, you know, it's not the sort of thing you're gonna play down print works or whatever. But um, I very much like that. It's nice. Good work. Thank you very much, Sodasaurus. Give you a hooray. Uh, we've got another one as well. Um, uh, oh, and he, he did preface that one saying, I wrote this track back in 2003, so it's certainly aged by today's standards and sounded from base. Oh, shit. So it was uploaded six years ago, but it was actually written in 2003. So, that's, so that song was actually 20 years old. So it actually makes a lot more sense in that term. Um... Uh, this one, he says, he started writing the quest in 2017, just before life got a bit messy, and somewhere in between, I lost all the logic files, so I'll have to start this one again someday. Okay, cool. We've just had a, a follow from Official Ionic. Nice one. Thanks for the follow. Uh, Honey Bunny, give me some money. Says, 20 years old, and it sounds pretty sick. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, big up. I like I like that Sodosaurus, especially um, with it being twenty years old. It has even more uh, makes even more sense. Um, and sort of if you look at it coming from the sort of electronica end of drum and bass rather than you know mainstream acceptability club oriented stuff, it's cool. Um, so this one here was made in two thousand and seventeen. So again, this is a bit old. Um, but we'll give it a quick bash. Six years old. I don't think these are likely to be um, sort of mainstream drummer bass, but it's good to hear a bit of everything on these streams. Definitely is a vintage. That's probably our oldest demo, right? 20, 20 years old. This was uploaded six years ago. It says, this is something new I'm working on. Only a taster of what's to come. That's nice. This has the same electronic -y vibe about it. The hats are a bit louder than they should be, really. Oh, that's cool with the uh, acid interacting with the strings there. This is good. <laughs> Post the oldest tune you have. Demo stream, yeah. Oh, I really like this. I almost feel like this should just not have any drums and just be a nice synthy tune. I'd like to hear what he's doing now. Yeah, I mean, that's just like a simple loop and everything. I liked it without the drums, really. I think you could just have a a cool little... Um, just, you know, just stick with the synthy stuff and have that as a sort of nice ambient tune. Thank you very much, uh, Pseudosaurus, if you're watching this back on YouTube later. Thanks for um, sending those tunes. I'd love to know where you are in the picture there. That looks like a... The southwest coastal path or something. So, uh, big up the big up the the um, the sea in the background, walking around crew. I hope you're doing well, and uh, I'd like to hear some of your newer stuff if you've got any. Um, and uh, I like that one. I uh, I thought it was I like the understated electronica -y vibe, the angle that you're coming from. So, um, respect. Um, ah, we got one from Moose here. Um, oh, there was something in the Discord here. There was someone called F At was it Atlas, but with four seven, who who was a little bit mean on the Discord about some stuff. So I had to just sort of say, chill a bit. Uh, that's the first time I've had to do that, but it was a bit um, rude about somebody else's song. So um, I think he, he got it though. So that's all good. Um, Moose. Moose is here in the chat, so um, here we go. 
Nice orchestral stuff so far. We've got Moose T in the chat. This is their song. Check the levels here. Nice vocal. Where's the vocal from? Skeggy, uh, this talk about where the picture was. Skeggy is short and for Skegness, which is a coastal town in the UK. Vocals are licensed from something got censored there, like maybe Splice or something, yeah. Okay. Said it, I like that. I'm gonna yawn, I'm sorry. Nice tambourine bit there. sound a little bit too programmed um, you could maybe layer in like a splashy break or something to help kind of glue it a bit I don't like that where that drum edit comes in there it's like a different programmed drum with a different snare I'm not sure that's a good idea Overall, the mix is very nice. There's really nice space on the vocals. Vocals are lovely, spacey vibe. Everything gels together cool. I think the bass, the subs could go up, you know, be a bit louder. The, the bass isn't super there. Um, Piano's nice. Everything sits together really well. My main main issue is with the drums. Sort of. I don't think the choice of drum sounds and the pattern is like best suited to to that track. I would go more for um, the sort of you know shakery, liquidy, rollingy sort of break. Personally. Um, on that but that sounds very professional really the vocals are lovely and everything it all it all sits well together uh, my main comments are um, more subs on the low end but what the notes the bass are playing is choice of bass sounds and how the bass goes is cool I think it just needs a bit louder um, not a huge fan of those drums for this song I would have something a bit more breaky and a bit <laughs> a bit more shakery <laughs> um i'm trying to think of what's let me find a liquid drum and bass flipping playlist have i got one um what's uh
to know. No. I don't know if we've got the right. Maybe uh, this is a bit more that sort of break. It's not full liquidy, but um, that's a thought. A thought. Uh, maybe the kick a bit too snappy. Welcome Whoa! Fucking hell! Hello. Bonkers. We've had official Ionic just drop 10 gifted subs. Mad. I was going to get to uh, your chat as well. Because um, I just saw the follow come in from Ionic. Um, and... Um, Says you didn't submit drum and bass. You hope that's okay with us. Welcome You've submitted a Psy trance a song with trap and future bass and one's hard dance with dubstep. Oh God, <laughs> that's not really what we uh, we listen to here. But I mean, if we get that far, we will listen to them on stream. Um, oh, I've got to let all the flipping uh, things go through here. Um, Thistle's had dinner. Cool. Oh, God, it's almost dinner time. Shit. Welcome, welcome to, to the Loft Crew. crew. There's going to be ten welcome to the Loft Crews here, courtesy of uh, Official Ionic, who's also subscribed as well. Wow, that's mad. Like, so that's basically 11 subs there. Welcome Thank you. Um, so, yeah, if you've just sub uh, sub uh, submitted your tunes, um, if you've literally just submitted them now, they're going to be at the bottom of the list, unfortunately. Um, but we will listen to them. Um, I can't give the best feedback when it's not drum and bass because I don't know what I'm talking about as much when um, it's non-drum and bass. You know what I mean? My expertise is D&B. Um, so, anyway, I was going to say thank you to Moose T for that song. I hope you uh, found my comments helpful and nice and positive. But in general, we basically really like that. My only thoughts were maybe boost the lows a little bit on the bass and maybe experiment with changing the drums just to see but i mean they sound good anyway it's just some of that's just my personal taste doesn't mean i'm right and you're wrong or anything like that but i'm just giving you my thoughts as another person's opinion kind of thing but um that's great we'd love to hear more of your stuff in future thank you thank you oh, i was not mean the horse i pressed the horse sound by accident it was meant to be the applause sorry so what we're now bring the meat bring the meat back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh god, we've got fourteen left. Holy fuck. Um <coughs> Let's have a quick, I don't, this is not, uh, I'm not trying to encourage like mega subs to jump the queue or anything. And um, But uh, Ionic did just drop 10 subs, so I feel like we should probably listen um, to their tunes because uh, we're not going to get through to the very, very end today. Um, so I hope you guys don't mind. Is Moose T the guy who made Sex Bomb with Top? Yeah, yeah, there was. Yeah, I presume this is not the same Moose T, right? Uh, if so, wow. <laughs> Right, so this is um, Ionic, who's just uh, jumped in out of nowhere. Canities has told me to hydrate. Thank you, I do need to hydrate. So this was made nine months ago. Oh no, this is instantly not my kind of tune, I'm afraid. I, uh, I will just say I don't like trap type stuff or those sorts of lyrics or vocals personally <clears throat> so like where where are the the vocals from and stuff And also, just checking, has this been released anywhere? Is this already released, or is this strictly an unreleased demo? Cool. Oh, hold on, it says Frank Ocean Remix. It's been released on Spotify. Yeah, um... So that means I can't really play it here on Twitch stream if it's released on Spotify because it's going to get flagged on all the copyright identifying algorithms and stuff. And if it's a Frank Ocean remix, um, 
I can't. You can't how how am I supposed to play this on on uh, on Twitch safely without fear of a DMCA takedown? Um, yeah, can't really uh, do that. I'll just I, all I can do is quickly skip through this. I'm afraid. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm lying down. That bit sounds a bit louder compared to the rest. Sounds very nice, but it's not. I mean, it, uh, we're a, a drum and bass channel mainly, and like that's my expertise. So like, I can't, and I'm not really into this kind of music, so I can't even. Uh, I can't be particularly helpful. But um, this is for demos. This is for unsigned demos that are unreleased and drum and bass ones. Um, certainly not anything like if it's got Frank Ocean on it like that's big time Twitch DMCA risky shit so um it puts my Twitch channel in jeopardy and also if this is released and I put this on YouTube now it's gonna hoover up the content ID um monetization so I'll have to chop this section out when I upload it so um can't really uh uh, listen to that anymore, I'm afraid. This one, again, is Bionic. Um, has this one been released anywhere? Um, again, if it's not drum and bass, there's not a lot I can say. Um... Not a huge fan of, like, the, the raspy bass sound on there. Good side chaining, though, off the kick. Those vocals are out of tune. Soundcloud only for last one. Okay, cool. Those vocals are completely out of tune. They don't fit at all. There's something weird happens with the level there on the vocal. It all drops down funny. There? I don't know what happened there. Did you hear it go quieter? They're like, yeah, so much stuff here's like out of tune and clashing um, in the musical keys. And the vocals are not in the same key as everything else. The, I like the sort of echoey cowbelly bit you have on the top of the kick there and the loop that you've got for the bass and stuff there. I don't know. Um, this is all cool. This is not my expert level of expertise because I'm a drum and bass producer and that's what we mainly do here. So um, this all sounds fine. You've got a nice side chaining off the kick and the rest of it. Um, I don't know where, yeah, it does, the bass feels very wide, so you want to make your bass pretty much mono, so it sounds better in clubs. Um, nice rises and reverse stuff you got. <laughs> it should do a 4-4 cowbell drop. Yeah, you need more cowbell in this. Guess what? I got a fever. Nice the only prescription is more cowbell. <laughs> Need more cowbell! <laughs> okay, <laughs> jokes aside, um... Huge, huge issue here is that the vocal is completely out of key and is in the wrong key for the rest of the music. Um that's like a huge red flag that you really need to deal with. That's this stuff that's coming here is like much too loud compared to the rest of it. That snare wasn't present in the rest of the track at all. It's very harsh, very midi. Um, that clap is like... 
so you need to i don't in terms of structure and arrangement here this is not my kind of music so i don't know it sounds a bit out of place that the tune would switch from being four four to then have a sort of trappy bit at the end of it but i think i don't know i think that might be more common now than um i thought oh uh sub from bring the beat mac thank you very very much i missed that um thank you thank you thank you thank you very much um so yeah i i, I um I, I don't know what to say on this one i'd say thank you very much for all of those gifted subs um what what i'm really looking for here is definitely stuff that's unreleased not stuff that's up on spotify definitely not a frank ocean remix um i don't know how you got that up on spotify um because uh, that puts my stuff at risk this one um sounds very competent um but uh, there's a lot of issues that need dealing with. The vocal is completely, like, in the wrong key. Um, and, like, musically, lots of stuff doesn't fit together in the wrong key and all of that. Um, overall, mix is all right. It sounds loud and most of the stuff sort of balanced well. You've got a decent build-up and, you know, the attempt to build, build interest at the end of the drop and all that. And edits, it's not boring and monotonous. Um, I personally wouldn't switch from a 4-4 track to trap at the end, but I know some people do that. I felt like the clack, clap um, uh, thing in the trap bit there is much too harsh and loud compared to the rest of it, so it sticks out too much. Um, yeah, I think it's something like that. The rest of it, it's ma definitely a sort of a major minor thing on the vocal Um is clashing but i think it's also kind of in a in a different musical key um if it's major and minor there's not a lot you can do apart from actually changing the individual notes of what's being sung there um i, I would just try replacing it with a different vocal maybe um uh really but thanks for sending the tunes in um as i say like i i'm mainly a drum and bass producer and dj so that's what i'm best best place to sort of comment on and, and help with and everything but there are a few things there that stood out in that one that i think you could definitely change that needed doing um so for future um yeah just stick to stuff that's not released and um mainly drum and bass please and definitely yeah definitely not stuff that's already you've already put up on spotify um because that'll get me in in big trouble and i'm trying to help you all here um so uh, hopefully that was some useful feedback there, um, Ionic. Um, so thank you very much. Um, right, now I need to find where we were. We're on the demo session here. Um, was it, I was bringing the beat back, was it? I think it was. All right, Ionic, well, thanks for, for joining us and following and everything today. Hopefully you can hang around for a bit more. I'm going to be on for probably another hour doing this. You can hear the sorts of stuff that other people are sending in. It's all across the board. Like some people are absolute beginners. Other people have even had some tunes released. Um, and the, the vibe is I, um, we're all listening together to music that the community's made. And uh, I do my best to offer my thoughts if I think there's room for improvement. You know, like any, any changes that jump out at me that you could do to um, help improve the tracks, basically what we're here for about learning and improvement so this is by bring the beat mac who's just subscribed as well so welcome in bring the beat mac thanks for the tune sounding nice and loud it's good bass is bassy How often do we do these? Uh, Progressive Dub says, how often do we do these? It kind of feels like it's almost weekly at the moment because we get so many submissions in. Um, I try to pace it. Like, I, I've, I've got so much I need to be doing in the studio myself that, you know, when I spend a whole day doing these, it's meant it's a whole day I'm not working on my own stuff. So I once every two weeks would be perfect for me, really. Um uh but i kind of i just sort of keep an eye on how many are coming in and how many i can get through um so it's sort of weekly at the moment also depends on how i feel as well like sometimes i just kind of can't face a day in the studio or i you know when i've got jobs queued up of tunes to work on that maybe i've worked 
on ad nauseam lately um and i don't want to bore you with and i want to switch things up a little bit with this um uh then we do these but if i do do demo listening streams it's always thursdays and um i also do quick listening sessions listening to promos that have been sent to me like stuff that's actually coming out but it's been sent by labels with my with permission for me to play them um i don't do them for very long because it's not the content i want to focus on here but um uh i do sometimes on fridays i do a couple of hours of of going through my promo inbox deciding what to play just so you can get a feel for what's coming out and also what i like and what i might play in my sets and see how quickly i decide if i like things and all the rest of it um anyway enough of that it was my ted talk Hall, you can uh, claim credit for giving me the idea for that one. <laughs> um, so here we go. This is Bring the Beat Mac. This is higher. <laughs> I just can't give his detailed feedback really. Only I can, but like, I'm not as qualified basically. Hey! This has got really good energy, this one. Quite busy. Not a huge fan of like, what the bass is doing. But it's, it's, it's got energy, like some songs just don't have energy, this is, even though there's things I'm not into, it's, 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 it's got energy. <laughs> Needs focus on the low end, says Moisin. Yep, I would agree. Needs a bit more, a bit more low. Ooh, oh, I like that bit, that was a good little edit there. I like how it changes up and keeps off. Keeps the energy. Energy. Vibe check, 10 out of 10. Ooh. Ooh. Nice energy. Inside. Nice vocal. I like how the I like how the vocal works with the bass, Rick. That's good. I like the vocal where it is in the mix, personally, this all. Some, uh, some serious edits there. Nicely done. Oh, that's, that's difficult shit. That represents a few hours of work, if you're anything like me. So well done on that one. Yeah, bring the, bring the beat Mac. Uh, just subscribe, so they may be lurking. Conclave says the main mid bass is too wide in the lows. Really good rises and builds. Yeah, really good work. Like, even though I'm not hugely into like the main bass riff, it's the vibe's good and it sort of keeps you going, the edits all coming at the right time and keep it sort of rising and overall mix is all pretty nicely balanced, like Yeah, I think we all dig this. I think the main issue I have is sort of the bass riffs. All the rises and the drum edits are great. That was a lovely little strip to silence. I love how the vocal hit uh, uh, goes with the sub or the, the bass. That's that's really cool. I almost feel like you should have that more often, and I don't think that happens at the first drop, does it? 
I know there's a lot of a lot of stuff changes at where the drop point is, but I my favourite part of the sort of riff of everything is how that female vocal sort of that goes like uh, uh, goes with the bass, and I think I would have it doing that when it drops because it doesn't. Some, some of the breaks, bit of the amen, maybe. Yeah, I'm. I yeah, I really. I said energy a bazillion times there, but um, not a lot. I would change on that. Um, the low subs need to be louder a bit, boost them up sort of a couple of dB maybe. I'm not a huge fan of the general riffs of the bass, but they're they're all right. Um, and I think I'd experiment with making a bit more of that nice female vocal bit that interacts with the main bass riff, certainly at the point where it... Um, where it all hits, where it all drops. DJ Killer Five in the chat says, "Listener made tracks." Yeah, today is a uh, demos day. It's demos. Bring the beat, Mac is here. Good, cool. Yeah, I hope the f it's, there's not a huge amount of feedback to give on that. Like, uh, the overall mix of it was nice. It sounded nice and bright. Um, I'd boost the lows on the bass a little bit. Um, it'd be difficult to change the bass as a whole. Um, and that's sort of a personal thing. But I really liked the sort of... It, it has this vibe, like, bringing you forwards enough edits to keep it all interesting some really cool little break core edits but not too much like it keeps the driving nature of it all um the 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 rises and the stuff like really brings you into the drops so, like both after the intro and the breakdown like really 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 good stuff there um big up big into that I give you a oh, give you a certified bango 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 certified bango big tune Hold tight all the journalists inside the ride. Oh no, absent, you missed it. I really liked your tunes. Um, I'll get this up on YouTube. Um, can't remember what ones yours were. were uh, it was what it was, it was Refuse. And I think I liked Refuse the most. Like we, liked, we all liked, you know, both of those. Really nice vibe, very mature. Um, I can't remember what my sort of direct feedback was at the time. Um, on the overall mix thing, um, sort of it, I, it, every, it sounded cool, but I wondered if the whole thing, you could boost your tops a bit more absent. But there's a kind of aesthetic about your sound that sort of fits the mix downs you have. So... It, I wouldn't necessarily want to dabble in it too much, but um, I'll be uploading this to to YouTube. Like, uh, but ugh, realistically, it'll probably be a week or two before it's live. But I'll do my best to get it fa up faster than usual. But um, you'll be able to sort of hear our uh, comments and reaction on the uh, the recording. Um, while I'm live, you might be able to skip back and and watch it sort of the VOD sort of exists while I'm still live here on Twitch, I think. So you might be able to do that now. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, the last... We, I am up to date on YouTube now, Moisin. They are... At the weekend, I, I got the backlog up. Unless any of yours were ones that have actually been released because I had to chop some out that were, like, getting content ID'd and we're trying to, like, hoover up all of the monetization on a five-hour stream. So, um... Absent Music says, always torn between that debate on the tops, but thanks for checking it. Yeah, I, it's an interesting one. Normally I can just sort of tell if like, oh, it universally needs more tops or the drums need more tops or anything. But you have this sort of signature sound of kind of, not exactly like lo-fi, but kind of um, there's this sort of aesthetic with it all where it doesn't need that level of brightness and it would almost spoil it if it was there, kind of. So, um 
Yeah. Um, DJ Killer 5 says, John, do you ever gay copyright? <laughs> um, I, uh, do I get copyright strikes on my own tunes? No, because uh, most uh, most of my own tunes, I have don't get. I've never had a copyright strike on on Twitch ever, and I wouldn't because I've always had permission to play everything that I've played. Um, anything that's my own tunes is almost all of it's released on my own label, and I made sure that my digital distribution partner that puts all my music on Spotify and everything like that, I made sure that all of my music was Twitch safe. So that goes for all of you. Um, I have a Twitch safe playlist, I think. Uh, is that the one or is it stream safe? Stream safe. There's a, yeah, so if you're live on Twitch now, not watching on YouTube, there's a playlist I have on Spotify that's like a cherry picked selection of music I've made that is guaranteed okay to play on Twitch and you it won't ever get muted and you won't get a TM, DMCA strike because I own it all and it's on my label. That doesn't mean there are other songs of mine that I've licensed to other labels or, you know, signed to other labels and things or they've been on compilations and stuff where the label, those labels may have a different attitude towards Twitch stuff. So you can't universally play all of my stuff and feel safe about it because there might be um, might be tracks that I've signed to other labels and they uh, they have a setting set on there like digital distribution stuff that says, uh, you know, mute it on um, on Twitch. I think the worst that would happen is it just gets muted on your vods but you should never have mods uh, you should never have vods of music content left up on twitch anyway because there isn't a system yet to sort out the the royalty distribution stuff um but um i don't think drum and bass labels ever would ever dmca strike people but there's a lot of drum and bass stuff now that's mainstream and on major labels and things and you know universals and sony's and all of that and um the there there is the possibility they might do a, a, a dmca ban wave at some point but reading between the lines i think that only happens when there's a point in negotiation i don't the point in negotiations or something where they're sort of making a point or whatever but um i don't think it's something the drum and bass people suffer from much but as a rule uh you're not supposed to play any music you don't have the rights for on twitch uh you don't have the permission or a license for um ever and you certainly should never leave uh, VODs of music content up on Twitch because that's creating a new recording of uh, copyrighted works. So um, the real question, says Vohall, is not DMCA, but when was the last time you did the YMCA? Uh, prob <laughs> probably about 25 years ago at university, mate. Uh, uh, I would do it more often. Um, in fact, yeah, I, should, I, I feel like I should have like dance sessions at home on a Friday night with Magda and we just mess around and play some loud music and dance <laughs> that'd be fun it's a bit manic though isn't it um uh moisten says how does it work for live sets and things for performance um well so when you're playing in a live venue or a festival or whatever they all pay a um you know venues have to pay a live music performance um license thing um so and then what's supposed to happen is they're supposed to audit all the music that's played in the venue or at the festival like in a perfect world all the djs would give give the organizers a track list afterwards saying what they played and then that goes to the um people like the prs or whatever and then they allocate portions of that to the artists who made the the songs um prs does actually have a good system in place that was set up by ashley howard i think who or he was certainly involved in it who's a guy that used to work at hospital records and uh they they are very aggressive in really trying to promote that we do that because it means that the people who make the music that is played at festivals gets a, a, a decent payment like if your song gets played at glastonbury or something i think you get about 50 quid a time um even if it's not broadcast on tv or radio or anything like this is all uh, publishing income it's the songwriting side of things um uh so so yeah it's really important to send your track lists in if you're playing anywhere um in public because it helps the money get distributed to the right people because otherwise it just all goes into a big pot and then it just gets distributed out equally between the big earners so it all just instead of going to people like me it goes to like lady gaga and phil collins and sting and people like that um just you know it's distributed based on percentages of you know whatever um 
and to them it's a you know 50 quid is meaningless but for me if like i had a few plays and got 50 quid a time like that's 150 quid like it's like well hey nice i think sting actually uh makes the most it i i it was a stat a while ago i read that sting makes the most out of publishing out of any artist anywhere ever or or something like that i think it's also because he has a publishing company of his own maybe um barnabas rex says struggling artists who really need the 50 bucks yeah absolutely bloody hell like you know um uh, one radio play one club play that's been allocated correctly through publishing is you know 50 quid or something um or even if it's only 10 quid it, you know it varies depending on the size of the thing or the radio station or whatever but like that makes a huge bloody difference to to people on my end of the spectrum whereas to the to the people on the majors around the world it's a drop in the ocean and they're already like super duper mega rich um so it doesn't mean they don't, you know, when their stuff's played, they deserve to get paid correctly as well. But like when there's stuff that's in a big pot that just gets distributed and, you know, sort of into the ether, um, it's um, not cool for people like me <laughs> as much because we get a much tinier portion of it. Um, you heard John Travolta has weird music deals he's got on movies. Oh, could be, could be. Phil Collins was literally the guy. Yeah, he's it, that's sort of one of those names that people um, roll out when it's like, don't let Phil Collins get the music. Let the drum and bass people get it. Tell them what you play. <laughs> if you could do a sort of, um, uh, you know, one of those uh, broadsheet newspaper commercials. It's like, do you want your music royalties to go to Phil Collins or the rightful owner of the drum and bassy tune played in your nightclubs? If so, give them your track listings. Otherwise, it will go to... <laughs> enter person who you consider old guard and not from the scene <laughs> um anyway uh right next one here is by saran gay this is not a name i recognize from the chat oh. right so what's this I swear this tune sounds super similar to something but i can't put my finger on it if anyone knows please tell me i sampled this so it sampled some vocals and things, yeah. Uh, that already sounds DMCA. I don't know who this person is, and it's not drum and bass, so I'm not listening to that. Sorry, mate. Um, another one here from Bring the Beat Mac. Who is here? Great, good. We liked your last one. Let's hear this. Mysterious. As John walked through the woods of doom. I love you. I saw an opening. Ooh, nice vocal. I was about to do a John log. Big kick there. something on the master chain a bit too much on this one 
Um, there's that first note, the... Um, drums are a bit busy, but, like, all the sampling is, like, very clean. Like, uh, um, it's good to hear everything's triggering spot on. Because normally when you have a lot of breaks and things going like that, there's a lot of sort of sloppy flamming. Ah, the snare here has got that flamming, though. This bit sounds a bit out of place, the half-time bit. It doesn't... It's not in fitting with the rest of the track. I think if it was me, I'd chop this out. And there have been some comments about the vocal as well, like not being quite right, sort of... Maybe widen it out a little bit, a bit more tops or something to match up with everything else. It sounds a bit dull in comparison to the rest of the tune. That kick thingy sounds a bit like the, the sort of lasery resonant attack on it. It's a bit much. And a bit too bassy on the bass drum roll there. I like that boom, 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 on the bass. Thistle saying, don't master before sending things in for feedback. I'd give it a bit of a master. Don't like try and push it to the absolute edge. But like a bit of, a little bit, a little bit of compression, a little bit of limiting to just get it loud enough, but nothing too heavy for sure. But you need a bit. As you should do, like when a song's kind of considered finished ish. A bit, yeah, I think like there's a lot of ideas here, a lot of stuff going on, but it's well produced and nice and tight. As before, the edits are good. There's enough low end on the bass on this one compared to the last one, so you don't need to deal with that. I think maybe you're pushing your limiter a little bit too much on the mix here, and I think with the vocal. It sounds a bit better towards the end here than if you changed it, but um, vocal needs a little bit more tops to match up with the rest of it. Um, I don't really, I'm not really a fan of the half timey bit in the breakdown there, and also the the way the chords. You haven't got the same energy leading up to where it drops with your chords and sustained atmospheric thingy bobs in the breakdown as the other one. Is there a rise or anything? Oh, you've got the mad like kick, haven't you? Yeah. I think that's a bit too funny reverby on the kick and too much like laser zap on it for me. And also where it goes, duh, 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 I'd ro I'd I'd make it so there wasn't as much low end information on the kick. Even though I, at least you've got the break before then it hits, but I'd I'd tame that a little bit. And um, my personal choice would be do away with the sort of half time swingy drum bit there, and um, I would just chop some of that out. That's still the right point for a breakdown in my opinion um but i don't think it needs that the, the drum thing going on and if you just chopped out whatever it is 16 bars you're not going to shave off too much of the song because it's like f almost five minutes long so if, if even if you lost a minute it's it's fine and this you know most stuff that i see that comes out now that comes into me is you know released drum and bass tunes uh three and a half to f four minutes ish there are some that are only like two and a half like certainly jump up dance floor things are in insanely short um but like four minutes is is bang on really like anything over that won't really get is not required for dj sets and stuff and and also just the way people listen to stuff on spotify now uh unless you're just leaving it rolling in the background i think people would want to skip to the next track um after about three and a half minutes really but that's really good overall um good like overall balance on the mix down good frequency balance like you know not too bassy not too trebly not too muffled or anything bit bit too much stuff going on maybe not too keen on the little the bit in the middle there vocal could maybe be widened a bit more tops I'm not personally into the sort of the riffing on the bass, like your choice of notes and everything, but it works for this vibe and this sound. Um, maybe pushing the limiter and stuff a little bit too much. 
um but that's an easy fix um but i really like your stuff and uh thanks for sending it in and um i'd like to keep hearing more of it um and i think everyone else in the chat would too so thank you very much bring the beat mac um who says in the chat yeah he's been questioning the breakdown a bit um you thought this one was going to be rated better than the other ah cool well they're both really really good i personally preferred the other one um to this one but they're both i think some of the mix on this is is better like you were missing low end on the last one but that's that's easy it's literally just eqing it up a bit um so yeah big up maximum respect round of applause thank you very much I am going to quickly pop to stretch my legs, replenish my water, and go to the bathroom. So, I'm going to hit you with an ad, and I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Moise in with a five gifted as well. I, I shall say a proper thank you when I come back. Imagine the person that made that song is sitting here lording over everyone, giving bloody feedback on their music. <laughs> what does he know? He makes complete shit. <laughs> um, we are back in the place. Um, Magda started cooking dinner. She says, I've got about 25 minutes till I have to stop and eat it, uh, which works for me because I've been here for four hours, 50 minutes, according to my timer there. Um... So uh, Conclave is talking about Bob Katz, who's a, a legend. Uh, he, he prefers cats, though. Uh, IB Mac loves the track. Good stuff. Thank you very, very much. Um, huge thank you to Moisin for the five gifted subs just now. Uh, I, I really, really appreciate that. That's mad. Ah, one of them went to Old Peeps is lurking in the background. We've got Blackadder as well. Um, a whole bunch of people. Nice one, nice one. Does that mean it was a Q jump gift? <laughs> oh god. I don't want to start doing Q jump gifts, man. It's not it's not right, but um for you I shall um because that was very generous of you. Um 
So where were we? The last one here was we're about to do an amazing uh, warlock. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I oh, know we haven't done those. Here we go. Moisin, this one here. Okay. We might be able to get through most of these today. It depends. Um, okay. <laughs> it was unconditional, says Moisin. It's all right. I, I think it's only fair with a, a drop in a five gifted subs. I don't want to make this a thing, though. But, I mean, uh, it is very nice because, like, I do need the subs. So, thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Um... So, uh, welcome to my TED Talk on uh, democracy and streaming and gifted subs. TED Talk, jump and bass, massive. Um, right, we're on the demos today. It's demos time. Uh, this is one from Moisin. Um, has this come out yet? Am I going to... Am I going to get uh, muted and shit? Is it going to ruin my um, YouTube career and Twitter career, Twitch career? Um, if so, I'll have to just skip through it a bit. <laughs> Glad you like the video. No, good. Okay, cool. This one's called The Venue. The Venue. The Venue. Sounding nice. Building the tension, building the energy. Just like my, my mental state in the morning. <laughs> they need signing, ah, oh, okay. This sounds like it should have a 4 4 bit in it. Inspired by Jim Crimwell, I'm sorry. The snare isn't quite right for me. Like, it's maybe... It sort of sticks out a bit too much. A little bit too much. Um, and it's like a bit... I don't know if it's too wide or, or there's something... As we all know, snares are flipping impossible to get right, so I don't know how the fuck to make it better. But. Nice Reese's and everything. I can hear a distant cowbell in the background as well. It's very squashed. Right, yeah. Nice arcs. Good volume as well. Sometimes arcs get um, put two back in the mix. I like a nice loud arc. Sounds like a release, says Circle 6. Yeah. Whack, whack an old transit designer on here, just go. <laughs> Give a bit more snap or something. I like how you structured the pre drop thing. Sort of quite Andy C ish, right? Like, it's his sort of. Uh, good switch there. I think it's, there's something about the snare. I can kind of feel like. Sort of hear two snares in there a bit. The old sort of transient and the triggering side of it. Nice tops. This one doesn't need uh, shakers on it. Good movement on the um, the kick with the bass there. Like the kick comes out enough. You could maybe add a bit more nose to the kit. Give it a little bit more. Uh -huh. Nice, I like that. Sick one, big up, says Kyle 
SDNB in the chat. Nice one. Wizard1260 says, maybe raise the threshold and decrease the release time on a snare while bringing it just a touchdown in the mix afterwards so it's not so squashed. Yeah, like, the only thing I can really think of in that to have a look at is the snare. Um, kind of sounds a bit too loud. It sounds slightly like the flaming effect where... Because, you know, the way a lot of us build snares is by layering a few thingies and sometimes it means that when it hits it's kind of you've kind of got two things hitting slightly after so there's a tiny bit of that um so yeah like uh i like that it's cool i'm not really sure why to play it um but i like the sort of the the continuous driving energy mix down all sounds all right to me really uh really nailed the top ends on all the drums all this the the hats and the splashes and everything are, are spot on uh, that's quite rare um in these in these sessions um nice little fills i like the fills um good reeses and stuff i think yeah main main thing for me is just um have a little look at the snare that's my only the only thing i can think of to suggest that jumps out at me a bit um but yeah really really good work big up the moisin give you um a certified banger for that Hold tight all the jugglers inside the ride. Right, uh, who is next? Another amazing one. Have we have we have we only had one amazing, or have we had two amazings? I think we've only had one amazing, and I really liked it. So, um... so this one here is by uh, Amazing, who is always around in the chat and a, a valued member of the community of the loft crew uh records under the name hansen varkas this one's called warlock moisin's only staying now to give harsh comments on the conclave's track <laughs> ha i think we the the idea is to always try to be positive and helpful with our, our comments here oh i think i remember this from last time right yeah this one's good fun i think the drums are too far back in the mix but i kind of like it's it's got um They, uh, I, I, they're reminding me of a sort of a break from um, Renegade Hardware, like Usual Suspects or something or other. But this would go off like, brow, 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 brow. it's like a, it's sort of a fun, nice, you got the sub. You, yeah, your snare's much too far back in the mix for me here. I like the vibe on this, it's good fun. The, the the bass is like nice and bouncy and And the I really like those pads. I remember this one from last time we listened to it. But the um the, the main issue here is the drum is the the this the snare is like too far back in the mix in general it might be one of those ones where the bass is too loud and it's pushing the limiter and everything and having knock-on effects with the rest of it that uh, sound is a bit out of place maybe not hugely into that breakdown isn't really like giving me any interest in anything it's just sort of gone a bit quiet really I think the sub's probably a bit too loud now. I can't remember if it was too loud last time or too quiet, but... Sub, might, sub notes might be a little bit too long as well if you've got... Because you've got that more punchy, jump-up, brassy bass. You could maybe shorten the duration of the sub notes. Just a little bit. It's a good riff and a good, like, bouncy vibe. I like it. 
There's no pleasing me, sorry. Snare drum definitely needs to be louder, though. That's the main thing here. I like that sample brass bass thing, though. That's cool. Sounds like it got louder there. Also, there was a bit there where you'd cut out the snare drum and I could hear what you'd added on the, the, the white noisy transient bit. That see the that's just a editing thing. Yeah, like potentially in this, it's a good fun bouncy little sort of jump up thing. Um, main thing for me is sub is probably a bit too loud. That might be overpowering the limiter, which might be what's causing the drums to sound too quiet to me. I think the choice, I can't remember, you said you rework the drums completely. Um, I think these drums would probably be all right if they were like louder and the snare was a bit louder. Um, uh, Thistle says, odd choice of notes for the bass. Um, yeah, I mean, but like stylistically, it sort of stands out and it's interesting and a bit different and like fun, you know, uh, it depends what you're like. Andy C's not going to play that like, um, but I think I don't think he would expect him him to. Um, um, yeah, different snare and kick. OK, good. Yeah, like I can't remember what the drums were like last time, but I think these drums uh, will work. I just think they're not quite loud enough compared to the rest of it. I don't know if that's just because your limiter's squishing them funny or because um, the bass is, sounds a bit louder, so that, that could be it. Um, yeah, kick needs saturation. Yeah, like because there's very, very subby bass, definitely make sure you're side chaining your kick drum off the bass. You know this, right? Um, kick and the snare should be louder and yeah maybe a bit of saturation or something on the kick um and a bit more low end on the kick as well to give it more oomph um because it's got to compete with a very very deep sub there um those are my thoughts hope you like them welcome to my ted talk on john's weird thoughts on um, amazing tunes oh it always does the wrong transitions i need to do a transition override give me a sec here This is going to look funny. Hold up a sec. Transition override. Cut. Hello. Right, let's just check. Let's do another TED talk. Give you a horse. You can have a horse. Mamazing gets a horse. Whoa there. Hold your snares. It's Mamazing riding through. Welcome to my TED talk on um, snare volumes. There we go. That's me struggling with snares. <laughs> ah! And it's a cat trying to soothe me. I've eaten all the ants for you, John. I've eaten them all, one by one. The ants are gone. They won't bite you anymore. No, 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 no. Give me some tuna. Um, <laughs> right. This one's um, Maggie. Um, oh, and I think Maggie came in and said, don't listen to mine because it's a pop song. Um, but we will. Um, but I just won't be able to... Um, help too much hopefully this is not released anywhere is it when things sound all very sort of more professional and song like i'm like oh shit this is probably um this isn't is this on uh you haven't released this anywhere on spotify or anything right um uh just because it'll like give me shit um sounding very nice so far Milk that's gone bad and this is you singing, is it? Hey. Ice cream that's Maggie says, sorry, I didn't realise it was a D&B stream when I joined. This is totally pop, but I hope you like it anyway. All raw vocals, I would re-record them. Okay, cool. So it's like a rough demo, is it? I think on the overall mix down, the vocals are much louder compared to the rest of the music. So I would sort of deal with that on the mix. You could probably roll off a bit of the low end on your vocal as well. A lot of people do that. Not released private on SoundCloud, cool. Definitely got some lungs on you. Really good, uh, good vocals there. Wishing for something I am 
I'll just skip through this now because I've got a feel. Sounds really nice, cool. It's not my kind of music so much, but it sounds a really good example of a nice pop song like that. I think on the um, uh, on the mix, the vocals are uh, much louder than they should be um, compared to the music. Like the backing music's too quiet in comparison. Um, maybe sort of have a little bit of nice reverb on your voice like there's a technique i've seen people doing uh with vocals where you uh, it, this all depends on like your level of expertise in the production stuff but um adding reverb to the voice but then having a a, a compressor afterwards so that when the vocals are going on it sort of squishes the reverb but when you stop singing the reverb opens up and that's a really nice i haven't tried that yet because i only became aware of it recently but when you do it right that can have a lovely lovely effect and it means you can add reverb to your vocals but it's not washing them out like all the time um you just re oh so you did it in logic cool 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 oh well, you've done a really good job if you're just sort of learning logic and everything um yeah so i just uh first thing i would do would be um yeah just like bring the volume of the vocal down in comparison to the rest of it there's a few bits where you've obviously like overlapped vocals um i would work on that a little bit because it's sort of it works but it's kind of obvious but um no biggie i definitely have a look at doing some reverb um adding a, a little bit of light reverb and if you're feeling a bit more expert try that trick um i saw it it was mentioned as a guy a very good um sort of mastering engineer guy on youtube and instagram and all the rest of it called streaky uh he's a an english guy and um, he used to work at Metropolis Mastering. And I just, he had a very short form video about that. It's kind of, um, you add reverb on, but then you add a compressor after the reverb and you set the side chain input to the compressor to be the original vocal. So that when the vocal is actually on, it kind of squeezes out the reverb so you don't really hear it. But then when you finish your words, the, the reverb sort of kicks in. Um, and I think that would work nice there because you've got a wicked voice sounding really, really good. Um, good work, basically. Thanks for, for showing us that. It makes a nice change from all the drum and bass and the dance music and stuff. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much. Round of applause. Thank you, Maggie. Um, right. Next one here we have Kev WPL in the place um at whoa, whoa, whoa. oh hold up a minute oh this is loud oh yeah i turned it up didn't i thank you for deafening me fairy fountain your harps <laughs> have twanged the cilia in my inner ear canal and now i am deaf I need a magic potion. Oh, I didn't expect this. Drums sound very like distorted and squished, but kind of it sort of works in a sort of grimy funk trap kind of way. Is it Zelda? Are these? Is that a Zelda tune? I've never played Zelda. Oh, that's nice how it's got developed with the, um... Is this basically a Zelda remix? Am I about to get crushed by the god of Nintendo? Is this a Zelda tune? Oh, fuck. Oh, that's probably the right for Twitch. Very distorted, isn't it? But... Oh, it's cool. There's a lot of variation in stuff today. It's good to hear like everyone's own little angles. <laughs> There's someone at the door. It's Mario. He's come to punch me in the face. It's very, 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 very crushed. Um, good fun, tune, not something I could play. Perfectly competent. Like the master, the, the, 
the, the the mastering of it or you know the overall mix is just insanely super crushed but because it's quite a simple tune it doesn't like ruin it and it kind of makes it sound like part of the appeal almost um so um i don't really know i don't really know what to say about that because i mean it's basically a sort of drum and bassy zelda tune isn't it so uh it's I, I can't give you advice on how to elevate it to get played by sub focus at glastonbury but um it's good fun nicely done i liked how um there was the harpy bit in the intro and then the arpeggio got replicated by a nice synth that came up and led nicely into the the drop um the the kick and the snare were kind of all right and i kind of liked how distorted it was um it, and there is a bit of that around out there in the universe at the moment sort of overly distorted stuff um so all good so uh thank you kev wpl uh thanks for sending us a tune give you a magic wand because that's um uh a bit of a um zelda thing nice one thank you kev thank you kev uh right we have um ben from zambia here hopefully the ants are not eating my computer oh are they oh they might be oh shit um. System error. Danger. So this is by Sniffer Dog. Uh, an Ama piano song. Been listening to drum and bass since LTJ back in the 90s. That's why you're here. But Africa's changed me. Ah, oh, this is Ben from Zambia. Yeah. Okay. This is cool. Uh, it's not drum and bass though, but that's uh, alright. Ben's here, good, good, good. Lots of termites here, oh no. Hey! Oh, I remember your stuff last time, I really liked it. sort of critique on this because it's not drum and bass it's clearly not designed for you know dance floory stuff but perfectly nice cool happy positive vibe could be a bit clearer on the tops there's not too much low end like overall mix wise boost the bass a bit give the tops a bit more air snare sounds a bit muffled but it's not like a deal breaker is it it doesn't really matter so much guitars are nice it's kind of a it's a style i i'm not like i don't really listen too much so um don't really know what to say but nice tune it's chill thanks for sending it Yeah, mix down's cool for what it is, really. It's a little bit like, it's not crispy, clean, super hi-fi, CD quality stuff, but I mean, you some tunes sound better when they're not like that, if it fits the aesthetic. Um, so, um, yeah, good work there. Thank you very much. That was Ben from Zambia under the name Sniffer Dog with a bit of sort of, uh, he's from Zambia, so a bit of sort of like African mouse, I guess. But that's, I, I enjoyed that. Nice and chill. Head nodder. Good work. Thank you very much. Very much. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Ah, we're on to Conclave. Ah, oh, my wife has knocked up on the door. Dinner's ready. Okay, cool. All right. This is the last one. Magda's come and said dinner's ready. Um, so, Conclave, you're in. Uh, just made it in uh, before the bell. So, um conclave's been here all afternoon so i'm glad we got to his tune 
Always appreciate you hanging out while I'm streaming and your input in the chat and in general in the community. So um, thank you for sending us your latest tune. Conclave also streams a lot of production stuff as well. So if you're in the chat, let's do a shout out for um, Conclave. Please give Conclave a follow. Uh, we'll also do one for Thistle as well. Always got to put the UK on the end there. Thistle is also another great person to follow if you're into music production, especially drummer bass. Conclave and Thistle do uh, production streams, so please, please, please give them a follow. Support their work. Help the channels grow. I wasn't paying proper attention there, sorry. Let's give this the attention it deserves. So we've got a nice slow reversing note here in the intro. The intro! Didn't we have this one last time? I vaguely remember talking about this one. I remember the, the 808 snare. Did we jump forward and listen to this? No. Ah, you made some edits, okay, good. Oh, this is where you can write, John Bean told me to do this, and I did it, and he didn't even notice. Or he said to change it back to what it was like before. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. Sorry if uh, I end up doing that. Let's go, Conclave. Come on. It's a bit sort of muff not really muffled but like I can feel it there but it's sort of uh, I don't know lacking a transient like it's not cutting through a bit um, I'm not really a huge fan of what, what that wowy thing that's sort of the lead really which is a shame because that's kind of like the main part of it The vocal sample you've got there and how you've done the sort of funny reverse and stuff. And I like the digga 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 That's cool. That's the sort of Blade Runner-y, um, synth wavy sort of vibe. I like that energy, the energy from that. It's one of those ones where if you frame it a different way, if you like, I want this to be a dance floor from a bass tune that Andy C will play. 
it doesn't really fit that. But if you think of it more in terms of music playing in the background when you're playing Ridge Racer, it changes the goalposts and it feels a lot more cool. Um, and you know, fits and it's a different set of rules where you don't have to be so strict about certain things. It's interesting because the kick's there, I can really feel the kick. But I can't feel the snappiness of it. And this, the snare feels a little bit too low in the mix now. I think it was too loud last time, I think. And now it feels a little bit too quiet at this point in time. This also has more of a punch on the kick and lengthen the release a touch. It's funny, like, the kick sounds punchy enough, I can feel the energy from it, but I can also kind of not hear it. <laughs> but, you know, don't obsess over making these changes and, like, I'm only just saying my thoughts on it. Tune sounds good as it is. Nice tune. Everything's sitting in place, cool. And, you know, with this sort of thing where, you know, you're somebody who knows what you're doing, it's just sort of down to my personal preferences and things. I like that dunk dunk bit. I think I said that last time. I was like, make more of that. Yeah, now I hear the click kick better. Yeah, it does have... It's a nice kick. I like it. It just feels like somehow you're not here. Maybe it's because the snare's got more, much more tops to it or something. Doesn't have to be a big, big deal anyway, but... I like the movement on that When I can hear more of the elements in isolation, I like all the separate elements more. Um... I think where it drops, I, I'm not a huge fan of that sort of synthy Reese thing there. It's a good little edit, but you've got to really nail it if that's where your drop occurs, you know what I mean? I, my, my main issue with this is I'm just not a fan of the that main wah 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 bit. But on a, on a just sort of simple little thingy, so I'd turn the snare up a little bit. Tweak the kick a little bit more so it has a bit more bite to it. Sucks up a smidgen more. Those are my sort of mix, my ear thoughts. rhythm I really like that part of it and that sort of that Reese leady thing just sounds sort of the opposite to the rest of it to me and like slows it all out like drags it out whereas when it's everything's all a bit more percussive I think it really that's gives you the energy I can hear like it sounds like a lot of the dynamics are squashed out of it as well here even though I love all the, the it, I'm contradicting myself because it sounds nice and percussive and there's a bit more space and everything but it's maybe it's because of maybe my ears are just tired now after like six hours of listening to stuff but um I really like this section where you don't have that long synthy bit in and it all makes a bit more sense to me then yeah, maybe you could do like gate. Just put a gating thing on the on the re. So it's just going. Duh, 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 keep the. That would be an easy way to just test something out. Um, stick a stick a gate with a side chain, and you can like play the notes to sort of um, trigger the gating of the the re. So it's like. Duh, 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 I know it's not a sandstorm, but you know, <laughs> that's something to try anyway. You know what I mean? Like. Um, 
Um, so yeah, those are my those are my thoughts. My, only my opinions, not judgments or anything. Um, so I hope that's helpful. I think we all like that one, didn't we? Everybody like that one. Big up the Conclave. Don't forget to give Conclave a follow as well. And Thistle. Um, thank you very much. That was my TED talk on uh, contradicting myself and giving advice I'm not qualified to give. Here we go, look at me. It is my face. I shall now mute the thingy bob. I'll put a bit of background tunage on. Uh, -ba -da -ba -da. No, not, no, 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 no. Don't play UKF top 100 drum and bass. It's gonna, I'm gonna get sent to jail. There we go, we can play this one. Um, right, I've got to have a little look. Thistle's ears are tired now too. I bet. Yeah. Thank you, God. You've been you've been around all day, guys. Thank you for um, tolerating me. Uh, thank you for listening to everybody's music and uh, helping with the uh, the thoughts and the advice um, and the feedbacks and all the rest of it. Um, what's going on? Um, Who's doing some music stuff? Um, all right. Right. Uh, yeah, happy 420 to those of you that celebrate it. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out today. Thanks for the very generous sub subage. Um, Moisin dropped to five. Um, official Ionic dropped ten. Uh, had a lot of other bits and bobs of support throughout the stream as well, so that's really lovely of you. Thank you. Um, I might hop on tomorrow morning for a couple of hours doing a promo listening, but we'll probably give that a, mi a miss. Um, I'm going to be doing a DJ set tomorrow night on YouTube because I don't do my DJ sets on um, on Twitch at the moment. Um, so if you want to watch me, I'll be doing probably a couple of hours drum and bass DJ set Friday night, which is tomorrow, 7 p.m. on YouTube. Uh, just f uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button. Um, and uh, it should, there's, a, there's an event there already, so you can kind of bookmark that or whatever. Um, then uh, my next definite, definite stream will be on Tuesday back in the studio. Uh, but if I manage to find the time over the weekend, I might pop on for some studio stuff. And I'm really long overdue a Tarkov gaming stream as well. Um, so I'll try to fit that in between now and Tuesday. Um, maybe Monday. Maybe I should just say, fuck it. I'm taking Monday off and I'm going to play Tarkov. So um, I'll see you when I see you. Um, but my next music in the studio uh, proper stream will be Tuesday at 2pm. So that's the very latest you will see me next. So thanks everyone very much for hanging out. Thanks for submitting all your music for us to listen to. I hope my feedback where I gave it was helpful uh, and positive. That's what we uh, try to do here. Um, and I'll see you again soon. Take care everyone. Peace. Have a great weekend, everyone. Take care, Atomic Circus. Bye-bye. Kazumi. Take care, Catalyst. Wizard. Thistle. Slothy. Kev. I'll try and get this up on YouTube soon. Realistically, probably a few days or a week. 